Neris, we're waiting to see you. And welcome you to a gem sale. Are we live? Yay! Yes. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to our bi monthly party time. All the things, beautiful things. Yes, we have owls. You also have the queen of the owls sitting before you. If you're new, I want to say hi. I'm Athena. Welcome to the Sage Goddess Live Gemstone Sale. Is anybody new? It's always kind of fun. I mean, I see I see our hardcore brothers and sisters here, and it's always wonderful to welcome you back, too. Super happy to see you. Got gorgeous things for you tonight. Um, and welcome. We're happy that you're here. <laughs> Come on, ghost. Nikki is not new. She masquerades as new. She's quite seasoned. As it were. So I, I want to tell you, Alexis is in New York, where we hope she is having the absolute time of her life. I'm trying very hard not to bother her. And so in her place is Robin, who some of you have met, because Robin comes to the gem shows with me. If you were with us in Springfield or with us in Denver, then you met the delightful and lovely Robin. She is our she is our resident rockhound. It's rockhound Robin in the house. And so um, you can say hi to Robin. You're going to see Robin uh, as she pokes around to hand me things. I'm also joined by Tori and Queen Hannah. And thank you for saying hi to Hannah in the feed. Who was it that said hi to you? Hannah? What? Who, who was it that said hi to you? Oh, Christy. <laughs> uh, Christy, you made Hannah's day. <clears throat> Rock on Robin. It's going to stick, Robin. <laughs> I don't know if you like it, but guess what? Hey, I've been called worse. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Robin is here. That's, did you hear a response? I've been called worse. <laughs> Me too, girl. Whatever you got. Somebody else has called me something else. <laughs> so get ready for a good time. We're, we're going to have a good time tonight, as we always do. Okay. Where do we even begin? Except that I'm happy to see you. Thrilled that you're here. Okay. Why don't we start with... Um, let's start with Blue Smoke. Blue smoke. Uh, quartz. Now, this is... Um, we... <laughs> We really tried in Denver to find any um, Colombian blue smoke quartz that we could. They call it blue smoke because if you look uh, really closely inside of it, and actually I didn't say the rules, so let me stop. My own spirit guides are like, tell them the rules. This is a gemstone sale where you can purchase what I'm showing you, but you can't say sold until I tell you how much it is and then I stop talking for a second. So I try to teach you a little bit about it first, because otherwise, if I don't teach you first, the people who know that they want it just jump in and buy it and doesn't give you a chance. I'm going to teach you a little bit, then tell you how much it is, and you can say sold. Um, it's first come, first serve, so make sure your internets are fast. And then the other thing you have to know is you have to have an account on sagegoddess.com before you bid, and you have to put your YouTube handle in there, and that's how we send you an invoice, and that's how you pay for your magic. So, and then you have 24 hours once you get your invoice to pay. Do you have any questions? I have done my job. <laughs> um, listen, Cindy Black, I do stop talking, you know, for at least like four seconds. Like you could probably count to four when I do stop talking. That's why when I lose my voice, it's devastating because I don't know what to do if I'm not talking. It's a, um, it's a, it's a, what do they call it? A um, occupational hazard. <laughs> okay, so back to the matter at hand. These are Colombian blue smoke quartz points and they call it blue smoke because it has the faintest little blue sort of cloud inside of it um, they're angelic and everybody wants them because it's the highest vibrational quartz at least in my opinion and the opinion of other metaphysical folks that's on the planet right now they come from Colombia which is different um, Colombian quartz has its own frequency in my experience these are covered in like other terminations too which is pretty cool and then the other really cool thing about Colombian blue smoke quartz is it has a secondary inclusion on it called cokeyite or cookieite and cookieite is eases anxiety so that's kind of a party bonus. Um, some people believe these are Colombian Lemurians, and so I'll let you go down that rabbit hole on your own. What I will tell you is I've had smaller ones on sagegoddess.com that have sold out how many times, Robin? I would say about four or five. Yeah, I mean, and they're not in stock now. So this is the only Colombian blue smoke that I have, and it's all they had at Denver, so there's not that much around. Um, I have two different sizes. No, I do. So I have the, the four to five inch is the medium. I have four of those. And the five to six inch is the large. And I have two of those. The mediums are 
$59 a piece, and the large are $69 a piece. Again, I have four of these and I have two of these. Aren't they incredible? So if you have some, great. Um, if you don't, this is the last chance to get what is the last six pieces in my inventory, <laughs> and then I don't have any more either. I kept one piece for my own collection uh, because I really like to work with it. What it does is it raises your baseline frequency, and why do you want to do that? And of course, all quartz does that, but this seems to have a more intense vibration to it. And so it's really helpful in my experience if you are, if you are feeling um, unclear because this is a stone that helps you access the Akashic Records. It's really good for attuning to the frequencies that, that exist beyond your body's seven chakra system, so more into the fifth, sixth, seventh dimensional energies. That's what it attunes you to, so it's highly angelic and very powerful in my experience. So congratulations to those who are getting those. Like I said, I only have six. Were you sold at the cookie, Sarah Lucas? <laughs> I mean, you know, when you have angelic quartz and then you have a secondary mineral that eases anxiety, like we call that a party bonus around here. Um, so good luck and we'll come back and let you know who got what. But I'm thrilled that you're here too, Tracy Trezana. It's nice to see you today. Yeah, Tia, Tia's like, I already have my head in the clouds. I don't need, I don't need Colombian blue smoke course to do that. <laughs> you and me both, girl. <laughs> All right. So next up in our travels, um, where should we go? Can I have the epidote? I have four epidote spheres. A, a lot of things tonight are small quantity. We do have some things in bigger quantity, but a lot of things are five, six, or less. And this is one of them. If you don't have an epidote sphere in your collection, we're going to get you one tonight at one of the better prices that you'll find online. Um, our regular price for a three-inch epidote sphere is close to $100, $99 tonight. They're $84, and I have four. Epidote is for manifestation. Um, this one is a wishing sphere. I can't guarantee that they all are, meaning, let me show you what a wishing sphere looks like. Anytime you have a, a circle that is complete, and it can go like this, or it can wrap itself all the way around the sphere. Do you see the line? That's called a wishing sphere, and that is a sphere upon which to make a wish. Upon which to make a wish. Um, making a wish on an epidote sphere is the best because it's kind of a wishing energy, right? Manifesting, traditionally epidote manifests more of what you have. So the secret to working with epidote for manifestation is you have to, as you work with it, imagine that you already have what you desire. So instead of saying, I wish I had, you know, whatever you wish you had, a chicken, let's say, you can hold your epidote sphere and say, I have a healthy chicken and I can envision my chicken and I'm connecting with my chicken. I don't really want a chicken though, so I'm not going to, I'm not going <laughs> to intend that. That's not what I'm trying to, I am trying to manifest things right now, but not a chicken. <laughs> you know, watch the universe is so powerful and also really um, literal sometimes that somebody's going to come here later and say, somebody looking for a chicken? That happens in my world sometimes. I know, Scout, I gotta be careful what I wish for. Um, so to the four of you who are manifesting, um, the reason why I wanted to do these right now, uh, and I, I'm sorry that I didn't have more, is November is one of the two really big money months of the year. May and November are the two prosperity months where there's prosperity sort of energy streams available. And so why not get this now and prepare to work with it in November? Although you don't have to wait, you can work with it as soon as you get it, but. It's better aspected next month, is what I would say. And that's how working with crystals and then also learning like about the moon phases and the holidays and the energies, every month has its own unique kind of energy stream. And when you combine the energy of your crystals with the energy of what's happening, you know, it's like you, we call those layers of correspondences. And every time you add a layer of correspondence, whatever your, the magic that you're working becomes more potent. Right? So it's like, why not work at the right phase and the right time as well with the right crystals? So good luck to those of you who are getting those. I'll give that to you. Um, and then next what I want to show you, let's look, talk about some jewelry. Let me have the bloodstone rings, if you would. So this was a request from you for jewelry. Thank you so much. These are coming to the shop, actually. Not to be a tease. Soon, though right? Mm -hmm. um, these were hand carved for us. These are Hecate's keys. <laughs> um, it's petrified palm wood. So petrified palm tree. And wait till I tell you the story about what these represent. But anyway, this is this is the key to Hecate's gate. 
and everything is symbolic, whoops, including the um, the three little holes that are cut into the keys. So they're not available yet, but I got mine today. <laughs> I'm not going to take it off. I know. And I'm bummed because I love the person who made them, but they couldn't make as many as I wanted. So we have some, but we don't have as many as we had hoped to have. So when you see those, if you want one, you should probably grab it. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Bloodstone rings. Bloodstone is the stone of pain relief, my friends. And a lot of you have been asking me, could we please have some bloodstone jewelry? Could we please, could we please, could we please? And it's actually hard to find. This is not bloodstone, by the way, on my pinky. That's Sujalite, and that's coming up in the show, too. Um, but these are the three bloodstone rings. So they're all um, relatively close in gram weight, although they're different shapes. Although, did we break these out by size? I'm not sure we did. Um, those, no, they were all the ones. Okay. Size. So you're either going to get round, oval, or sort of like this tear shape. And this is, so the reason it's called bloodstone and they're all adjustable, by the way, so you don't have to worry about your size. So you can open that up to about a size 10, and you can press it down to about a size 3, which is what my pinky is. So these rings really do adjust up and down, and but they're really, really well made, so they don't fall apart when you're adjusting them. But the reason they call bloodstone bloodstone, it's actually red and green jasper. Sometimes you'll see little bits of golden inclusion, too. But um, in ancient Greece, they thought that the red jasper was the drops of blood, and so they thought that this was a stone formed after the crucifixion of Christ, and that it was the drops of Christ's blood into the ground that turned the what otherwise would have been green jasper into blood jasper, or bloodstone. Um, it really does work for pain relief. It really does. Um, and even if you just take a piece of bloodstone and press it against the area, I have clients who will take a piece of bloodstone and like wrap it with a rubber band or with a piece of fabric onto the place where they're having pain, whether it's back pain or you know, pain in, in your leg muscles, wherever it is. But just working with it, wearing the stone raises that frequency. And so that's why I brought the rings for you today. I know, we all need it. So I have 23 of these. Our regular price was 74. Our price tonight is 55 for adjustable bloodstone rings in sterling silver, which I think is pretty cool. Nikki's looking for a refresh. What do I, what's a, what is she refreshing? <laughs> do you mean like to refresh the page? That's going to be in the upper left. Is that what you mean? It's so good. That's right. Emily Flanders said it's good for the immune system too. It sure is. It's immune support, which, you know, a lot of us need. A lot of us have immune systems that are sort of unregulated, right? I have an overactive immune system. Some people have an underactive immune system. And so it is. It's a stone that regulates immune function and supports um, pain, re pain relief. Well, girl, you got to get in there. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know how to help you, but yeah, we're at Team SG is telling you to refresh your browser. Maybe that will help. So we'll come back and let you know who got those too. And Team SG, let me know when you're ready to announce winners. I mean, I'll keep moving and, and grooving, but you can let me know when you guys are ready to announce some winners. It's always fun to see who gets what. I love Bloodstone too, Stephanie and Maya. I hear you. We have winners for the Blue Smoke Quartz and the Epidosphere. Let's do it. All right, winners of Blue Smoke Quartz. Ready? For the mediums. Okay, we medium. K Grand. K Grand. Teresa Jolly. Teresa. So do um, first name and last initial. Okay. Yeah. That helps it. That no worries. Robin's new. Brand new. Yep. Brand, brand not brand new. <laughs> Touche. Five years here, <laughs> new today. Okay. All right. Shiva M. Shiva M. And Cindy R. And Cindy R. Congratulations, you guys. So, and then the next size was the... The large. The large. We have Cassie T. Cassie T. Congratulations. And Hilda P. And Hilda P. Kind of rhymes. Congratulations to both of you. And then we have Epidospheres as well. Okay, Epidote winners. Lindsay L. Lindsay L., congratulations. Ronnie B. Ronnie B. Maria P. Maria P. And Cindy R. And Cindy R. Congratulations. So those are the four beautiful Epidote Spheres. At least one of them is a wishing sphere. If you get the wishing line, you got to tell me what your wish is, if you're willing to tell me what your wish is. So I can hold space for that, too. Everybody's seeing what a great job you're doing, Robin. Oh, well, thank you. She appreciates that. It's always nice to hear when you're when you're trying something new for the first time, and you are doing a great job. Thank you. Yes. I have kombucha and wine, but I'm sticking mostly mostly with kombucha. It's it weird after a little while if there's too much wine, <clears throat> as it were. So happy to see you guys today. Okay. Um, 
Shall we do the earrings? These these Wait, earrings. Sure, okay. Oof. Okay. I only have four. Three. Three. <laughs> three pairs of these beauties. So, and then just tell me where we are on the sheet, um, Robin. We usually have a number, but um, just if you know where these are in general on the sheet, that will help and guide me. They are down at the bottom, right under the red amethyst pendant. Okay. So um, I have three pairs of these. These are green chrysocolla, um, sometimes known as Sonoran chrysocolla or Sonoran green chrysocolla or Sonoran green cuprite because what happens, what's happening here is that there's more copper in these pieces than there is traditionally in chrysocolla and that's what yields a deeper green color. But what's special about these is on the top they have green tourmaline. These are massive healing earrings. I mean these are heart healing. I had my pair on a couple of weeks ago and you guys were all like, I want your earrings, I want your earrings. So I have three pairs of these. I was able to get four of them total in Denver and kept one for myself. Although I only want, I wear one earring, so it always feels like half a waist. <laughs> uh, yes, and I will show you this quartz in just a minute because he sure is singing. He's a handsome big boy, isn't he? I'll tell you about him in a minute. Okay, original price on these, by the way, these um, these green chrysocolla and green tourmaline earrings, original price was $139. Our price is $99 for the pair. They are open on the back, and they are beautiful. I'll put one of them on, but I'll clean it for you before we send it to you. My ears are pretty clean though. It's a weird thing to tell you. It is weird, but they are. <laughs> Do you like it? It's kind of sexy, isn't it? You can really see it from far away too. It, like it kind of hits the light in a pretty way. Anyway, I'm gonna wear somebody's earring for a little while and I can't, I don't, I, my right one is closed so I can't wear both. But enjoy those. And if you're like me, you could get the pair and give one to a girlfriend. I always give one of my earrings away because I can't wear them, the other one, and it seems like a waste. My right ear is closed. And yes, I know I could have it repierced, but for, I like to not do things the way other people do things because I'm kind of an anarchist that way. And so um, wearing only one earring is my, it shows my resistance to culture. So if you tell me to wear two of something, I'm going to wear one. <laughs> and I also grew up in the 80s. That's right, Renee Hilton. So maybe it's more my 80s upbringing than it is my anarchist nature. <laughs> so good luck and enjoy those. I think they're super fun too. Okay. Where do you think we should go, Robin? Um, we can do the Leopard Skin Jasper series. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. So this one I have a little bit better quantity um, than I do of other things this time. I wanted these because, um, especially for Soul Shift, and this one's a wishing sphere too, uh, the, the most common stone to find in the form of wishing spheres with those like continuous circles is actually leopard skin jasper. So I wouldn't be surprised if all of them are. I can't guarantee it, but this one has like three different closed circles. Um, and it just, because it's orbicular, you tend to find sort of like those unending circles and orbicular stones, sort of like ocean jasper too is one another common one to find in the form of a wishing sphere. It's pretty, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, so this is the most important stone for a shamanic journey, in my humble opinion. This and celestial quartz. Those are the two journey stones. If you wanted to add others, um, dioptase is a great one because that's a really good one for healing family um, uh, drama and family baggage and family karma and lineage stuff. But you really have to start with leopard skin jasper. So if you don't, it does come with the stand, by the way, so that's why I'm showing you. I like this stand for it because it's organic, like it suits the stone. Do you know? Like we could we could have put this on a different kind of stone or a stand or a metal stand, but it the energy of it wasn't right. So this is exactly, it's called a tripod and it's the right it's the right medicine for the right stone. So we have 22 of these. The original price was 94. Our price is 79 um, for it's a three inch leopard skin jasper sphere on stand. And this should be, if you, if you do journey work and you don't have a journey altar, then this is a good sign to you to get started. You should have an altar that's just about your journey time whether that's journey with me or journey with other teachers that you do and a lot of you journey with multiple people in different parts of the world and different classes that you take. So you have to start here. What it does is it keeps you safe during journey. Um, they say that leopard skin jasper is the stone that shows you the pathway back from the lower realm. So it's something that, that sort of uh, you know brings you back to present time once you're done. 
So it helps you drop in, it keeps you safe while you're there, and then it sort of gives you the passageway or the, the journey back. That's right. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm glad it's helpful for you to know. Like some of you don't have altars for specific purposes and you don't have to have an altar for everything you do. Although having said that, I even have altars in my bathroom. Not for things I do in the bathroom. Like you don't have to have a shower altar, but I do like I have a little altar in the bathroom that because if you think about it, that's where you spend a lot of time you know, getting ready or bathing your kids or whatever it is. And why not make sacred space where you, where you do your things? I think an altar like next to your toilet would be weird. I'm just going to put that out there. I, I'm not a judgmental person, but that would be weird for me if you did that. I have to say that's not where your journey altar should be. <laughs> Hopefully that's not where you're journeying. <laughs> On my bathroom altar, um, it's a lot of it is little gifts from Zoe like little river rocks and things like that. I have a little palm stone that said God says God heals um, because someone gifted it to me when she was sick and I just have kept it. I have a little record keeper sapphire on my bathroom altar because I am usually getting ready to go to work and teach in the morning and so it's a good stone for gathering your thoughts. Sapphire helps you to be articulate, activates the third eye. I have a, um, a twin spessartite garnet that's kind of special on that altar too and that's for like juice energy stamina because it's all sacral chakra like getting your creativity juices flowing i have i'm trying to like picture it in my mind i have a quartz point um to raise energy i have then i have all my oils and things there it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a vanity tray but if you looked at it it kind of has an altery feel to it i love <laughs> i see us mcpeaky and you're naughty but you're also funny and honestly my kids would be into it so okay any winners you want to do before we move on? Um, we just got some winners okay. in for the Bloodstone Rings. Oh, Bloodstone Ring winners. Let's talk about it. We have Sophia M. Sophia M. Congratulations. You can do two at a time, by the way. Okay. Yep. Cindy R. and Carissa. Cindy R. and Carissa. Congrats, girls. Joanna B. and Teresa J. Joanna B. and Teresa J. We have Mid... Sorry, I'm going to butcher this. Midwest... Midwest Christine. You're good. Midwest Mid Christine, yep. yeah. Nancy S. Nancy S. Lisa M. T. Uh, Heather Z. Lisa M. T. and Heather Z. Angela R. Give me Christine two Christine G. Yeah, Angela R. and Christine G. Katie L. Adel Adele G. Katie L. and Adele G. Joy Lynn K. Pam P. Joy Lynn K. and Pam P. Renee H, Cindy N. Renee H and Cindy N, congrats, you guys. Vicky C and Tammy A. Vicky C and Tammy A. Janelle D and Jean K. Janelle D and Jean K. Hey, Jean K. Kathy B and Laura D. Kathy B and Laura D. Is that helpful? I might sneeze. Bless you. I've been on the edge all day because of my darn allergies. And this cold that won't go away. Congratulations. Maybe I need to hold the bloodstone rings a little bit longer. <laughs> it didn't come out. It's okay. It'll come out later. We have the Chris Cola earring winners. As ah, well. my earring winners. Who got them? Um, Delena S. Delena S and got one. Michelle P. and Danny Girl. Michelle P. and Danny Girl. And, and me. We are the foursome. <laughs> I need to take a pill. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pill you want me to take, Debbie? You got something fun I don't know about? I know. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah, we did the bloodstone rings, and we did the Chris Cola earrings. Um, want to talk about black garnets? We could do those. We can do those. That sounds good. That's the two sizes. Okay, fantastic. So, if you were with me in Denver, then you know how I feel about black garnets. It's big medicine. Um, in my experience working with it it is it, it, and again this is you can people would debate this probably but for psychic protection sort of protecting your psyche and helping you helping you not overthink things or take external things too seriously does that make sense that's what melanite's for melanite is black garnet they come primarily from mexico and from africa um, and so in denver i had the smaller pieces now i have the larger clusters and i have Relatively, I have, a, I have a couple dozen of each, but that's it. So this is the medium, and this is 2 to 2.5 inches. This one, our original price was 68. Our price tonight for the sale is 44. 
And by the way, they've got crystals on both sides. They are so beautiful. Um, is that epidote? It looks, that's what it was looking like to me. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's rad. They have epidote in them. No wonder. So it's like manifesting psychic protection. This one has record keepers on it. These are holy shit pieces. I wouldn't miss these, and I don't have any more. This is these this this is all they had of these larger pieces. The large is um, 2.5 to 3 inches. I have 15, and that's our original price was 79. Our price tonight is 54, and that's the large. But now let me show you what Robin and I were just looking at. Rockham Robin agrees <laughs> that that be epidote right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Makes sense. It, I mean, they, grow, they, they would grow together. It makes perfect sense, right? Okay, so black garnets are hard to find. And if you look really closely, I mean, these are really stunning specimens. You can really see the crystal structure. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Would make beautiful jewelry, wouldn't it? But these really catch the light. So all you have to do is just keep it in your space. Heavy duty psychic protection. Um, and we'll come back and let you know who got those and good luck and congratulations. Absolutely beautiful pieces. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, isn't it beautiful to see how like how they grow and to see it on the matrix too and to see the full crystals forming, right? Like it's, Mother Nature is, is remarkably magical. That's why I never get tired of what I do. I could look at and talk about crystals all day long every day for the rest of my life and never get bored because she's not boring, you know? Yeah, Larissa's like, I'll take a bathtub of that. Me too. Okay, I do have a, a really beautiful ring. Let me show them. It's just one of a, one of a kind. I, I cherry picked this piece in Denver. This is, um, it's a portal ring. I thought I was gonna keep it. It's not mine, but it's, um, it is for someone special. It's Botswana agate, and this is it. And it's adjustable, so you don't have to worry about your size. It's the middle ring right here. And it is, what's really cool about it is it's faceted Botswana agate. Botswana agate is a stone of beauty, so it, it opens the beauty energy stream. And it's also for creativity, and it's protective too. I mean, agate, if you read crystal lore, dates us back to biblical times where agate was thought to be a stone of protection for warriors. Um, it also attracts loving kindness to you and I just saw a portal in there and so I was like oh, I'm gonna buy that. Usually I only buy a ring if I can buy four or five or ten of them because then people get mad like you only had one. But I think it's kinda special that I only have one. Here it is the other way by the way. You could wear it facing forward or facing away. Isn't it beautiful? Um, and so this one is $45. It's even pretty on the back. Like you can see the portal all the way through. It's part of what I loved about it. Like it's not just, it's not just like sort of a surface portal. It, it goes all the way through. I wish I had more guys. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. That tells me we need more portal rings. <laughs> so we'll come back and let you know the one person who gets this ring. I'm going to wear it if it's okay with you. Although I will show you something that's coming. It's not coming till next month. So I'm just wearing the prototype of it. Um, this is an original custom Sage Goddess ring that is coming to the shop. This is my first model. It's called The Sun Meets the Moon. Um, and so it's Labradorite and Rainbow Moonstone. But the shape is a solar shape. And so it's both of the stones of the new moon and the full moon combined with the shape of the sun. And then it has the triple moon on either side in gold. Isn't that beautiful? So I don't have these yet. And then on the inside, it's Mark 925 and SG. Isn't that cool? It's a little triple moon in gold. There's a lot of sacred ancient symbolism woven into this ring. And so I'm glad you're excited about it. And the stones are open on the back too, which is kind of cool. So stay tuned. Those are coming, and I'll let you know. And they're not coming to a gem sale. They'll be on the website. <clears throat> so I'll try to let you know. Yeah, I think it's in October because they're still shipping. I just have my little, my, my one. Isn't it pretty? Wait till you see the jewelry we're designing, you guys. Wow. It is something else. You're going to be so stoked. I have a pomegranate ring that's coming. <laughs> it's, it's Persephone's ring. <clears throat> 
and it's symbolic of the pomegranate. So anyway, really beautiful things coming. Okay. Do you want to do one of the big skulls? Yeah, let's do it. They're waiting. So let's do... Um, <clears throat> So as you know, I think after the Tucson show, um, Sage Goddess acquired Rotoco, which means we acquired um, most of the rest of the Lemurian blue calcite that's on the planet, because this is an Argentinian stone. Um, and so this was hand carved. It is so beautiful. It is the only, I believe, isn't it? We only have one. We only have the one. Yeah. Which, what part of the sheet is this one on, Robin? It is towards the top. It is the one, two, three, four. Oh, there it's it is. One, yeah. Okay. Um, he is seven and a half inches. The retail value, what you could sell this for, is $1,300. So our price tonight is $999 for the largest Lemurian blue calcite skull ever carved. Isn't that magical? <laughs> um, Lemurian blue calcite is called Lemurian blue calcite because it's thought that this particular part of Argentina may be part or of the sort of the grid where those who fled after the fall of Lemuria uh, went. It definitely does have a soft sort of um, that energy of unconditional love and wisdom that we associate with Lemuria. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> um, he's he's really special I know so anyway you could buy it and just turn around and resell it but I would encourage you not to I think you should whoever buys it should keep it it is a really beautiful piece but we try to give you things at the gem sale that are really like remarkable values too and so we'll come back and let you know who got this one isn't that exciting ah, he is actually he is a very sweet skull in my experience, I was very lucky this week. I got to spend two hours with the Mitchell Hedges skull. <clears throat> if you know what that is. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole right now, but it was really remarkable. Um, Mitchell Hedges is not that much bigger than him. That is a substantial skull for the one who... Uh, <laughs> for the one who receives it. So congratulations in advance. Yeah, let's do that. That's so beautiful. Okay, I am a fluorite-aholic. I can actually see you through that. That is so cool. Like, I can read your comments through it. And my vision is bad. <laughs> so if I can do it, it means you definitely could do it. Isn't that beautiful? I know. Um, this is, without question, the most beautiful rainbow fluorite uh, bowl I've ever seen. It's mostly green, teal, and purple. Isn't that beautiful? And it looks like the edge is raw, but it is polished. But they sort of followed the natural lines of the stone absolutely beautiful where's this oh here it is we have eight of these original price on these was 160 dollars tonight they're 120. we had fluoride bowls for you half this size about five years ago for a hundred dollars a piece they were about this size do you remember mm -hmm. for us to get i mean <clears throat> that's why i tell you like as we're able to get things at better prices we pass those savings along to you this isn't going to happen again anytime soon let me just tell you it was almost kind of a fluke that we were able to get these at the show so enjoy that may be the buy of the night <laughs> aren't they gorgeous and and wait like it's prettier in person I feel like the camera kind of captures it but I mean there's a certain there's a certain amount of of the intensity of these pieces that the camera can't even capture they're beautifully carved look at the bottom too I know they're already gone, but I just want you to really, really see them. <laughs> Hi, Nick. How are you? It's so great to see all of you guys. I'm so glad you're here. Really, really, truly. Isn't it, Wayne? Just stunning, you know? I, I marvel at uh, Mother Nature. She's an incredible artist. This one almost looks like it has the Chicana on the bottom, the Peruvian cross. Enjoy those guys and congratulations. You could you should put incense in there. Um, you could also put salt in there. It's a nice thing, especially during the shadow season. It's a nice thing to keep a little bowl of salt on your altar, and think of it as just a constant recycling source of purification and renewal of energy. So why not fill you know fill that fill that with um, Himalayan salt and keep it on your altar. Use that to store your incense or your charcoal discs or any you know put sacred water in there. You could you know before ceremony I like to sometimes make. Um, an anointing blend, especially if you're getting a group of people together in person. And you could mix your oil, your essential oils and your herbs and your stones in there and kind of create a sacrament in there. It's absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> and on and on and on we go. So enjoy those. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Do you want to do some winners? Um, let me show them this big piece, if you wouldn't okay. mind helping me. Um, of course. 
let me move it just a touch closer to where I am, and then I will talk about this piece, and then yes, winners. Just walking it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. So, maybe, uh, yeah, so that they can see the twin, the twin points would be good. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, I think that's actually perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Isn't it cute? He's very erect. <laughs> he's showing off. Uh, he is. He's naughty and he's nice. I know. <laughs> there, um, you should know. So I'm going to kind of tilt the camera down a little bit. There's, um, my desk is a mess. Don't mind it. Don't mind the mess. The, do you see this termination right here? You see this right here? This is an additional point that's coming out, an additional point here too. And then over here on the other side, you have another termination coming out sort of the back. So there's multiple terminations all over this incredible piece. Isn't it beautiful? I know. So it is what we call a tantric twin. It's a naturally double terminated quartz point. And they call it a tantric twin when it's those two points growing together and it's almost like seamless where they connect. And it's thought to be a stone that helps you magnetize your your person, your soulmate, your twin flame, your your anamkara, your one and only beloved, right? So if you're trying to call that energy in, this is a pretty cool piece. Um, this is Lemurian, I should tell you. You can definitely feel and see the lines. And what else should I tell you about it? Ooh, it's got a Devic temple in it. It's got a phantom in it all the way along this side. Okay, so this one is... Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, do you know the weight on this one? Because they're going to ask me. That one right here, it's 36.9 keys. Oh, I, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't see the decimal point. So, so 36.9 kilograms, which is... 36.9. That's going to be 70, closer to 70. 80 pounds. Yeah, close to 80 pounds. Okay. He is 28 inches tall. Um, the retail value on this piece is almost six thousand dollars, and so tonight it is forty two hundred. Forty two hundred takes him home, right into your bedroom, right into your bathroom, <laughs> wherever you need him to go. Um, he does stand on his own, so he's not. He doesn't have to be supported in any way. And then one of the cool touches that we do. One of the cool touches that we do is we actually um, print information about the piece on Palo Santo, and then we give you the stand. And so, so this comes with it. Ah, oh, Bridget, I am telling you, this is this is without question the most beautiful tantric twin I've ever seen. So, and I get around. <laughs> you know, this isn't my first rodeo. Um, it's sexy, and the vibration on it is beautiful. And here's what's really cool about this piece. Not that this like should should make or break a decision because it it shouldn't. Um, this is direct from the person who mined it to us. That's kind of a cool thing, right? I mean, it's not a lot of times you get these pieces and they've been passed around a bunch of times, or you know they've been at shows for ten years and they've just been collecting everybody's energy everywhere. Like, and and the person who mined it is a really beautiful human being. Like they do things the right way. So I just want you to feel really good about the energy because it's rad. And I think if you're going to buy quartz, like because quartz is programmable, it, it sucks up and it holds on to every frequency that touches it and that connects with it. Like, good to have a piece that comes from a beautiful place and and a, and a person that I consider a personal friend. Every time we get to spend time with him, we do. Um, and so, congratulations to you, Bridget. Truly, I mean, I'm happy, and I'm happy it's going home to you. I think it's I think you are the right keeper for it. So that makes my heart really happy. Scout's asking for winners of the Melanite. Can we do that? Sure can. We are on it, Scout. So for the medium size, mm -hmm. we have Skylar P and Cindy N. Skylar P and Cindy N from for medium. Danielle N and K Grand. Danielle N and K Grand. 
<clears throat> Teresa J and Christy B.O.B. Teresa J and Christy B.O.B. Congratulations. Miss Real and then Lay M. Miss Real. Yeah, and then Lee M. And Lee M. Congratulations. Then we have Deborah D and Ghost Nikki. Deborah D and Ghost Nikki. Pam P and Cindy R. Pam P and Cindy R. Maria P and Tammy A. Maria P and Tammy A. Marta Serena. Marta Serena. Okay. And Carissa E. And Carissa E. Congratulations. Emily F and Rhonda L. Emily F and Rhonda L. Lindsay L and Jill L. And Lindsay L and Jill L. We've got all the L's. All the L's today. <laughs> That's right. Adele G and Christine G. Adele G and Christine G. Jean K and Stephanie M. Jean K and Stephanie M. Betty H and Amy N. Betty H and Amy M. M or N? N. Amy N. Paula B and Brenna N. Paula B and Brenna N. Tina G and uh, Heather H. Tina G and Heather H. Danae L. And Nell Kumbi. Danae L. And Nell Kumbi, congratulations. And then we have Danny Girl and Kathy B. Danny Girl and Kathy B. And that's all she wrote for Melanite, well, I the, think. The largest. Oh, that's right, the biggest. We haven't announced the biggest yet. That's medium, so congratulations to all of you. You made a really good choice, honestly. They're beautiful pieces, and it's an incredible price. So the jumbos go to... Hilda P. and Cassie T. Hilda P. and Cassie T. Skylar P. and Gail S. Skylar P. and Gail S. Tracy G. and Cindy R. Tracy G. and Cindy R. Elaine S. and Renee H. Elaine S. and Renee H. Then we have Heather S. and Serena D. Heather S. and Serena D. April B. and Candace M. April B. and Candace M. Christine G. and Mary Agnes. Christine G. and Mary Agnes. Yeah. And then Rhonda L. And Rhonda L. I'm so happy for you, too. Congratulations, you guys. So that is that is all the melanite, the medium size and what I call the jumbo size. <laughs> I'm calling it jumbo because I didn't see any pieces of melanite in Denver bigger than that. Not that I wasn't looking because you know me. Like Size doesn't really matter, but if I can get a big-ass piece of something, like I try, and that was it. So we are so happy for all of you. Pam, you missed the blue calcite skull, but not the quantum quattro skulls yet. I haven't gotten there yet, so hang tight. If you were looking for a skull, there's still one that I haven't done yet. Um, Cindy Dotson was wondering if she got one. She said she thought it was strange that she didn't get one, so we'll check on you for or on that for you. Um, can I show them the Ganeshas? Wait, okay. Ganesha. So um, I don't collect a lot of things because if I did, um, it would be like hoarders and I really try not to be a hoarder in my life. I'm actually something of a minimalist. Like if I, so when I collect something, I really collect it. And I do collect gemstone Ganeshas. I don't have a lot of them, but I have a few and I really, really, really treasure them. Um, and it's, it's kind of fun like to always be on a quest for like what's one that I haven't found yet that I would like to have. And so my goal was to find um, um, Lapis Ganeshas when we were in Denver, we found them. And so, and I'll tell you why in just a second, I have 14 of these only. They are three and a half inches, three and a quarter to three and a half inches, and they are beautiful quality lapis lazuli. So lapis lazuli comes to us from Afghanistan. Um, it is the Stone of Queens. If, you're, if you've been with me for a while, you've heard me tell the story many times that Cleopatra, when she ruled Egypt, quarantined lapis in Egypt. Um, and she inlaid the walls of her palace with it. She would grind it up and wear it as eyeliner. She thought it granted her immortal beauty and also eternal power. So she was kind of obsessed with it. Um, and even to this day, I mean, there's a lot of royalty will wear, wear signet rings. In ancient times, they made something called cylinder seals out of lapis. It's always been considered a stone of power. Also activates your third eye. And so it's a stone that I love to have in my collection too. And so, and Ganesha is the Hindu god of obstacle removal. So if you're trying to create something, manifest something, change something, he just sort of moves all the obstacles to that out of the way so that you can have a clearer path to whatever you're trying to create. So the stone of power and the god of success. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do in your life that you might need this for, but I will tell you, I think it's pretty powerful stuff. Would make an amazing gift for someone too for the holidays. And yes, you have to start thinking about that because it's September. I mean, felt weird to talk about it last month, but Christmas is going to be here as soon as we know it and Hanukkah and all the things and Yule. So we have 14 of these. The original price on these was 99. Our price tonight is $69 for hand carved 
lapis Ganesha, and it's even carved on the back, which I love. And one of the things I love about these pieces, it, it, there's a six-pointed star on the back, which represents the principle of as above, so below, which is one of the hermetic principles that we use for manifestation. And so it's kind of like a little secret extra bonus symbol on the back, but that's what that represents. Isn't that cool? Six-pointed star. Nature creates six-pointed stars, right? It's the stars in um, star rose quartz, the stars in star rubies and star sapphires are always six-pointed stars, right? Isn't that cool? So, I know, it's crazy how fast the time is going by. We'll come back and let you know who got those two. And then I wanted to show them the Mariposa the calcite. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. Mariposa calcite is one of the rarer formations of calcite. And the um, phantoms are hematite. Mm -hmm. um, there are people on Etsy charging $450 for like a three inch piece of Mariposa calcite. So it's a really expensive stone. We were able to get these at, at a halfway decent price, and so we're able to give them to you at a halfway decent price. Um, and we only have 10 total, so we have uh, five of the medium and five of the large. But let me tell you about the stone before you decide, okay? This is a stone that is considered to have a strong pranic energy to it, meaning a strong force field of energy. And you can run your pendulum over it and feel it. The energy sort of moves in all directions. And I'll get you up close so you can really see what those hematite phantoms look like. Have you ever seen anything like this before? It's pretty rare to see Mariposa calcite. It also has like a sheen to it. It's easier to see that on the bottom. And it's even beautiful on the bottom. But that is, I mean, these are incredible specimens of Mariposa. Aren't they beautiful? So it's called the Stone of Joyful Transformation. Mariposa in Spanish means butterfly. And so, and calcite is the stone of joyfulness, lightheartedness, ease. And so this is, if you're going through a difficult time and you're trying to manifest an easier transition, the hematite in it will also ground you and hold you and stabilize you. Here's the larger um, cluster so you can see what that looks like. And again, there's all those um, hematite phantoms. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, right? Crystal and Healing said, imagine charging your rings on that. Pretty rad. We almost never see it. Robin and I are always surprised when we see it because it's just not something that you see very often. So I have five of the large clusters, which are eight to nine inches. These are $3.99. And I have five of the medium clusters. These are seven to eight inches. These are $2.99. That is a shocking price for Mariposa calcite. If you're a collector, this is one to have in your collection. And like I said, do your homework. <laughs> I mean, it's, it is, it, people are selling, wouldn't you say, like lower quality specimens mm -hmm. that don't have the pop of this hematite for more than this. So you're getting a really good deal <laughs> on these pieces. Um, five and five are the quantities that I have. Again, seven to eight inches is $2.99. Um, you would be able, I mean, I think you could probably turn around and sell this for probably $4.99 right Easy. away, right? So again, could you resell these things? You could, I would hold on to it just because again, as a, as a, as a vendor and as a, as a shop owner, I can just tell you, we just don't see it very often. So I, I wouldn't sell this, but you could turn around and probably get at least a hundred dollars more for it than you're paying tonight, which is a pretty cool thing. So congratulations. We will come back and let you know who got those. This one has like all these little sugary, like druzy crystals on it. They're beautiful. You're gonna get lost in it when it comes to you. Really, you will. So enjoy. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> I like a nice point too. Oh, I'm sorry that some of you missed the Ganesha. We'll do our best to get more of those in for you, you guys. We always try. We, we work directly a lot of times with India too to get Ganesha carving, so we'll do our best. Sometimes the way you guys see the feed isn't the same way that we see it, so it's you have to bear with us. We do our absolute best to get everybody in the exact order that uh, that we see you. Um, can I show them the Spectrolite Spear? You sure can. I'm just going to show this to you. I can't believe the price on it. It's three hundred and ninety-five dollars for Spectrolite, and this has I can't hold it for very long because it's really heavy. Um, six and a half inches comes with a stand. Spectrolite 
evidence is all seven um, energy rays or light rays of the human chakra system. And so you're going to find every color. There's even a big purple flash on this one. It is so absolutely beautiful. And so one of the, um, one of the differences, by the way, between spectrolite and labradorite is it looks like a snake eye, doesn't it? So rad. Um, one of the differences between um, labradorite and spectrolite is that um, spectrolite, oh, you saw the purple. Oh, there it is. Come back, purple flash. I got it in that one turn. Did you guys see it? Oof. But let me teach you really quickly, <laughs> uh, just because I like to teach you. So spectrolite, the, the colors in spectrolite, the, 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 the panel where the colors reveal themselves is, is thinner. And so in labradorite, the, the color, the spectrum of color, in order to feel it, you have to carve deeper into it. And so with spectrolite, because it's more on the surface, you get more of the display of color. That's why you see more color in spectrolite, as opposed to labradorite, which is deeper, and so the color can sort of be obscured or hidden. Isn't that cool? I don't have any smaller ones. Not right now. We're working on it. <laughs> we have some coming in from Madagascar, I think. But it's going to take us another couple of months, probably hope, hopefully closer to holiday for labradorite or uh, spectrolite spheres in smaller sizes for you. Interesting, right? I'm excited to see who got that one too. Can we announce it? For the spectrolite sphere? Yeah. How much was it? Yeah, the spectrolite sphere was. Aw, Brandy, you made my night. We can come back and announce okay. it if you guys if you guys don't know yet. That's fine. No, it's uh, for Bridget, but she's for Bridget also. Just so she knows, she doesn't have to pay six ninety nine like I said. Oh, Bridget, no, I think yeah, your I price is three ninety five. <laughs> Which honestly seems like it would be a typo for that sphere. I mean, that is that is a honkin' sphere. That's another one where you could just like sort of turn around and sell it, but don't because it's special and you think you should you should keep it. Well, now you know. So when you see Hecate's keys, you have to get one. Um, it's taken the, the beautiful man who carved these for us, it's taken him months. So these aren't coming back. Like when you see these palm keys, if you want one, don't like that's not something to wait for. <laughs> but I'll let you know when we get them. Um, do you want to do some winners? Yeah, let's do winners. We have the Jasper, the Leopard Skin Jasper Spheres. Leopard Skin Spheres. We have Kay Grand and Bridget O. Kay Grand and Bridget O, congratulations. Delina S and Lindsay L. Delina S and Lindsay L. Aria L and Jean K. Aria L and Jean K. Joanna B and Christine G. Joanna B and Christine G. G. Okay, congratulations, you guys. Stacy K and Elaine S. Stacy K and Elaine S. Ghost Nikki and Cindy R. Ghost Nikki and Cindy R. Wendy D. J and Suzanne R. Wendy J and Suzanne R. Ronnie B and Betty H. Ronnie B and Betty H. Stephanie M and Kyra L. Stephanie M and Kyra L. Shiva M and Delisa D. Shiva M and Delisa D. D. <laughs> Kathy B and Janelle D. Kathy B and Janelle D. Congratulations to all of you. You're getting these beautiful leopard skin jasper spheres for journeying. And like I said, if you haven't done a journey altar yet, this may just be the kick in the pants you need to do it. And then it's coming with your tripod stand, which like I said, I think energetically is just the right just the right medicine for it. So enjoy. Congratulations. We are happy for you. Yeah, the agate ring. Who got the agate ring? Do you the guys know? The agate ring is going to Michelle O. Michelle O got the agate ring. Yay! Yep, she sure did. I'm thrilled for you, girl. It's um, I I really you know it's it's funny when I when I go through and cherry pick pieces piece by piece. There's always a story or something that speaks to me, and so I remember exactly where I was standing when I saw this ring, and I was like, "This is coming home." And I asked if they had any more, and they said no. So you got something really special. I'm happy for you. And sometimes it is special when there's just one. You know, not that it isn't when there's more than one, but that one. You know, sometimes that's unique medicine. Happy for you. Okay. The blue calcite skull. <gasps> blue calcite skull. Goes to Delina S. Delina S got it. Yay. Congratulations. And I will tell you, I don't think we're having any more skulls. I, I own most of the rough that remains in the world of that stone, of blue Lemurian calcite, and I know what we're doing with it, and I don't think we're having any skulls carved out of it. If we are, it's not that much. So um, 
You're not going to see another one of those roaming around anytime soon, which makes it extra, extra, extra special. Uh, can I hug the twins? <laughs> I assume these are the twins you're talking about, right? My boyfriends over here. Yeah. It's hard to give the boyfriends up, but you know. I'm going to do owls. Owls are cutie. Let's do the owls. So owls, owl is my totem creature. Um, I'm named after Athena, mm -hmm. the goddess of wisdom, as you know. And um, so I always grew up thinking that owls were like mine <laughs> or special to me. I do love owls. The reason why owls are so important and especially metaphysically and energetically, and I live in an area where there are owls and they, they hoot to each other at night. So you'll hear whoo, 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 and then one minute later, you'll hear whoo, 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 coming from the left. They like, they just, t you know, sing to each other at night. Owls are important because they see equally well in day and night time. And so they cultivate this ability to see their light and their shadow clearly. And so it's really good medicine if you're doing shadow work or you feel like you can't see your shadow clearly or you don't understand your subconscious. My students and I are doing this work together right now in Soul Shift. So this is like kind of front of mind for us. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably not time for you yet to do shadow work. Um, yeah, you can't bid yet. You got to hang on. I'm just talking too much, but I'd like to tell you about the thing. Um, so I have eight of these. So the original price on these, these are, these are hand carved out of rhodochrosite, you guys. So these are not inexpensive owls. These are you, and this is all that exists. Again, I own Rodoco. So there aren't a lot of rhodochrosite owls out there, but the price that we have for you tonight, I would say is the best price you're gonna find anywhere. So I have eight of them. Original price was 240 on rhodochrosite owls. The price tonight is 180. And I have eight little friends for you. Aren't they cute? The most beautiful. So this is um, this is pretty gemmy rhodochrosite in terms of the grade of it. When you see that super bubblegummy color, that's what you're looking for. That's the mark of quality. Um, the more bubblegummy pink it is, the higher the elevation is, the harder it is to, to mine. The lighter the pink it is going into brown, the lower the elevation, the easier it is to mine. So the more pink it is, the more expensive it is because the harder to reach it is. The air is thinner, it's harder to access and harder to get out of the mine. So congrats to the eight of you who are going to get some really beautiful owl medicine. Even the little log that he's standing on is all carved. Isn't it beautiful? And then even on the back, like the detail is really, really, really stunning. Certainly the prettiest little owls I've ever seen. So enjoy, he's gonna come heal your heart. <laughs> Isn't it cute? So fun. So, and again, that's another one I can I can 99% guarantee you that because I know what we're doing with Rotocross Night and we're not doing else. So it's like something that's really special that isn't you're not going to see it again. So that's um, the last of the owls for now. Do you want to do the rose quartz and the divine grace? I'm super excited about this. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is there's two different ways to, to to use what I'm about to show you. These are all hand carved out of rose quartz. I love little pieces for my altar, and I think you do too. Like little. This is technically a little a little vase, right? It's open on the bottom though, so it's not gonna really hold water for you. So what I recommend that you do is use it as an incense holder. Isn't that beautiful? And so what we're sending with it is an entire package of Divine Grace incense, which is my favorite incense on the planet. If you don't know the story about Divine Grace, by the way, I was in Denver when we found Divine Grace. Yeah, I was in, yeah, I was in Denver. And I'm trying to remember if it was Denver or Tucson, and it was about six years ago. I smelled this, okay? And so I walked into the booth, and I was like, I need to know what that is, and I need to, you to put all of it in my purse <laughs> right now. I need to pay for that. And so I found out that the manufacturer had stopped making Divine Grace. And so I bought the last pallet of Divine Grace that exists in the world. So when we're out, and we're not out yet, but when we are out, there is no more Divine Grace. That's what makes it so special. It is my favorite incense of all time. And you will hoard it too. Because once you get hooked on it, like, you can't not have it. It is absolutely addictive. Do you like it better unburned? So a um, little secret to tell you, because there isn't a lot of it to go around. I put a stick in my underwear drawer, and all my pretty smell like divine grace so that's a fun thing to do if you have an incense that you love and you know you don't have a lot of it put one of the sticks in your underwear drawer in your t-shirt drawer in your you know makeup drawer or vanity drawer and the whole thing will smell like it um it smells like love and magic <laughs> i don't know what it smells like how would you describe divine grace 
pure happiness? Yeah, it's like pure, <laughs> pure, I don't know. And listen, I've smelled a lot of incense. I mean, it's not like I'm easily impressed. And to me, all incense smells the same. Do you ever have that feeling? Like, I go into every metaphysical shop, and everything to me smells like Nag Champa. You know what I mean? Like every metaphysical bookshop. So when I smell something as different as this one, that's why I kind of lost my mind. Because it doesn't smell like every other incense that's out there. So I'm going to shut up and tell you. I have 26 of these. Um, it's a two-piece. So you have the rose quartz base, which you could. You could actually just use... Does this stand up on its own? It does. So you could keep this piece separate as an incense burner and use this piece as a sphere stand. You could absolutely do that. Isn't that cool? Let's talk about what that would look like for a second. You could do it this way. Well, that's cool, Robin. That's really nice. Whoa, if you got a leopard skin sphere, maybe, because there's so much pink in that leopard skin, or you could do it this way, which is safer, but not as cute, right? <laughs> so true. I don't know. It, it depends on you and what you want to do. Um, but Or you can use the two pieces together, because the, what's nice about that is if you leave it in the base, then the base is going to catch all the ash from burning your incense. But you do get the two pieces. Why did they stop making Divine Grace? I don't know. The manufacturer just stopped. Sometimes they do that. And it's shitty, especially when you have a problem where you happen to be addicted to something that they stop making. Um, I have 26 of these, and they are $49 a piece. It comes with uh, 12 sticks of Divine Grace plus the rose quartz base and the beautiful carved rose holder. Isn't that cool? $49. And what a fun gift. Again, I'm telling you, think about holidays. <laughs> Whoever you're buying for, they don't have this. I've seen a bunch of things in my life, never seen that before. So it would be a really fun gift for somebody that you know you're going to be getting a gift for later in the season and they kind of have all the basic things. They don't have a rose quartz incense holder, <laughs> right? Isn't that fun? I'm glad you guys like it too. They're really sweet. So we'll come back and let you know who got... Even Dave likes it. And Dave sometimes doesn't like like incense -y type smells. He doesn't like the smell of white sage, which is a joke. I mean, you married the wrong person, right? I mean, let's talk about irony of all ironies. I love Dr. Pepper. I, I try to be a healthy person. Dr. Pepper is one of my weaknesses. It's a real problem. One of my favorite meals is a donut and a Dr. Pepper, which technically is not a meal. That's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> so I just, that, that's not a meal in anybody's book, but honestly, it makes my soul happy. A nice glazed donut and a Dr. Pepper, I'm all good. Seriously, maybe a piece of pizza. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah and Jory are like, mm. Oh, I love Dr. Pepper. It's so awful, isn't it? But <laughs> I'm telling you, even the healthiest people will be like, but if you give me a donut, I'll eat it. Okay. Um, this is one of my favorite stone combinations. Where should I look here for this? Oh, right at the top. the top. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, you don't often see it. It's in, in the trade. It's called Harlequin Quartz. Um, it's a mix of lipidocrosite with hematite in, in um, clear and smoky quartz. And what's really cool about this piece is a good teaching piece, too, because you can actually see the formation. So this is what you're looking at. Um, lipidocrosite looks like um, little red sort of like flakes. And then the hematite is sort of like a glittering black. And the reason why the combination of them it, together is important is that hematite is protective and lipidocrosite releases trauma. So you can kind of see both of those inclusions there. And so like I said, when you see the three together, quartz with lipidocrosite and hematite in the trade, that's known as harlequin quartz. And I collect it because it's so super rare. Um, these were the only pieces that we found in Denver. There's only 11 of them. Uh, the retail price of these is $1.99. Our price is $1.75. These are 4.5 to 5 inch quartz and lipidocrosite. This one's actually technically double terminated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the termination is complete. Um, so that should be more expensive than it is. Enjoy. <laughs> And I'm like, a double terminated piece of Harlequin Quartz is not under $200. You just don't, you don't see it. Whenever I buy it, whenever I see it, I buy it. Um, and so I, I, I remember asking in this moment, I'm like, do you have any more? Please say you have more. Because so many people are working through trauma and they're releasing grief and they're having to let go of 
things that happened 20 years ago and 30 years ago. And so it's, um, yeah, it does kind of have like that. It's well, because what happens is the lipidal crocyte and the hematite, wherever you find those two inclusions together, um, the two, the, the sort of red and black almost turn like a lavender purple color. But you can see that technically the harlequin aspect of it is a phantom. So it doesn't, it doesn't go all the way through the quartz. And so it's just a mineral inclusion that you find in certain pockets in the world. No, it's grown that way, Danielle. It's natural. Isn't that incredible? It's pretty rad. And those are two of the components, by the way, of the Super 7 configuration. But because the other, you know, four minerals are not here, we wouldn't call this Super 7. But it's, it's the two members of the Super 7 configuration that are really about emo healing emotional trauma. So if you're having emotional challenges, it's probably more important even than the Super 7 for you. Um, lipidocrosite and lipidolite are very different, and I'm glad you asked, Pam B, because I want to teach that really quick. Again, part of my purpose here is to offer you beautiful things to buy, and part of my purpose here is to teach you. Um, lipidocrosite sounds like lipidolite, but lipidocrosite are these little red flakes, little red flecks. Um, the way one of my rockhound friends describes it is, um, is it looks like the little flecks of blood that you see inside the eye. Um, sometimes when people have like eye injuries, I'm like, that's a really weird way of describing it. But yeah, it does look like petechia, <laughs> if you know what petechia is. Um, so that's how you recognize it. But it's just, like I said, it's really rare and hard to find. Um, but if you have like the emotional healing challenges more than the physical, then that would be a good one for you. Lip Lipidolite is a purple mica lithium bearing mineral that's really good for releasing anxiety and tension. Um, this is not lithium bearing, and so that's the difference between lipidocrosite and lipidolite. So lipidolite, lithium, lipidocrosite, trauma. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm glad that one resonates with you guys too, because I love it. Oh, don't worry, Hannah, we'll take care of it. We have a troll. Bye. Don't let people like that bother you. Bye. What are we going to talk about next? Do you want to do some winners? Let's do winners. Um, for the Rainbow Fluorite Bowls. Rainbow Fluorite Bowls. Let's go back to there. We have Bridget O. and Lindsay L. Bridget O. and Lindsay L. for Lipidocrosite Bowls. Renee H. and Martin. Martina Cara. Renee H. and Martina. Martina Sarah. Martina Sarah. Okay, yeah. congratulations, you guys. And then we have Kelly B. and Lee, and Lee M. Kelly B. and Lee M. Aurora L. and Bridget B. Aurora L. and Bridget B. Congratulations. Those are the fluoride bowls. Congratulations, you guys. Super stoked for you. Can you want to do the Lapis Ganeshas? Yeah, let's do the Lapis Ganeshas. Who got these? Um, Serafina A and Lorna S. Serafina A and Lorna S. M Melissa M and Bridget O. Melissa M and Bridget O. Congratulations, you guys. Bridget B and Jean K. Bridget B and Jean K. K Grand and Danny Girl. K Grand and Danny Girl. Lee R and Roxanne B. Lee R and Roxanne B. Happy Hippie and Lee M. Happy Hippie and Lee M. Aren't they cute? Dan Danielle N and Renee H. Danielle N. Danielle N. and Renee H. Congratulations, girls. Super happy for you. Super happy for you. Enjoy. Okay. Alrighty, we do you want to do the Mariposa Calcite? Let's do it. Who got the Calcite clusters? Alrighty, so for the medium size, mm -hmm. we have Roxanne B. and Danny Girl. Roxanne B. and Danny Girl. Congratulations. Cindy R. and Mary Agnes D. Cindy R. and Mary Agnes D. And Cindy N. And Cindy N. This one looks like a heart, doesn't it? Congratulations, Cindy N. Super happy for you. Aren't they beautiful? There's still two large left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the large size. This is definitely one for the collectors, like I said, because the price is ridiculous. And you just don't see it very often, so I'm super stoked for you guys. Did you want to go with the large winners? Sorry. That's okay. We ha we just got a new one, so now okay. there's only one left. Okay. <laughs> there's one left. We were going through an update. Okay. <laughs> Bridget O and Cindy N. Bridget O and Cindy N. Ghost Nikki and Christine G. Ghost Nikki and Christine G. And we have one left. If you would like Mariposa and Calcite. And then that's all, all she wrote for Mariposa. For now, we are always on the hunt because I think it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's joyful transformation. Let's do it. We have sex rings for you. 
Do you need a sex ring, darling? <laughs> what do we mean by a sex ring? Okay, um, I do a lot of sacral chakra work. I will tell you that I think it's the key to staying young. I really, really do. And so this is the most powerful combination of sacral chakra stones in a ring that I've offered you this year, I think. Look, Mar 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 Martin Sierra is always like, I sold, sold sex ring. Okay, I know, I got your attention with sex, didn't I? I have th 33 of these rings. They're fully adjustable, just like the rest. The same manufacturer who makes the rest of my jewelry right now. So the quality is exactly as you have been coming to expect. So these are sponge coral. Isn't that beautiful? Which is not endangered. Very powerful stone of fertility. Um, not just of babies, because I'll tell you something. I'm not interested in having any more babies today or ever again. Um, but I sure am interested in being pregnant with opportunities and prosperity and happiness so there's other ways to enjoy fertility <laughs> um, so sponge coral with um, let's make, uh, carnelian that's right and sunstone I almost said fire opal it's car sponge coral with carnelian and sunstone and sunstone of course is the leadership stone uh, this one actually looks like it's faceted carnelian and carnelian cabochon doesn't it yeah, this one is fascinating. Yeah, so some of them look like they're double carnelian, and then some of them are carnelian with sunstone. In either case, they're all um, sacral chakra combinations, so they're all slightly different, but they all have the same thematic, and they all have carnelian and sponge coral, but it looks like some of them have sunstone and some of them have double carnelian. Aren't they beautiful? So how do you know that you have um, sacral chakra work to do? <laughs> okay. If you feel like your creativity is blocked, if you've lost your sexual desire or function, if you don't feel passionate, like you don't have like huge inspiration to get out of bed in the morning or finish projects, if you're procrastinating a lot, all of those energy streams are sacral chakra blockages. When your sacral chakra is open and energy is moving through, it's youthful and it's playful and it's passionate and dynamic and it's exciting and it's and it's, attra it's, a, it's attached to prosperity and to manifestation because you really can't manifest if your sacral chakra is blocked. Manifestation requires your creative participation. It's also very good for sacral healing. So to McPeaky's question, um, you know, for example, I had a C-section with my daughter, and so I'm always doing sacral healing because that's trauma to the region. So any, any kind of trauma to the sacral region for men or for women, because um, this is a stone that a man can wear easily too, and men have sacral chakra blockages, not quite as often or extreme, but it still does happen for men sometimes. And we have to recognize that too. It's not just women who have challenges. So the original price on this was 59 Our price tonight is $44, and I have 33 Sex rings. <laughs> I'm wearing two, and it's a little spicy in here, I have to say. You can say sex rings or coral rings. Sex rings is fun, more fun to say. And your partner's going to be like, you bought a what? <laughs> How come we didn't get two? <laughs> This may be one of the only times your partner's like, you should have gotten more than one. I'd like you to have one on each hand, please. <laughs> These adjust, by the way, aren't they pretty? I mean, you can kind of see it's, it's a different pop of color, right? Not often do we have an orange ring, and it really does sort of like pop on your hand. Um, but because, like I said, these are adjustable, so you can bring this down. This ring on my pinky, I'm a size three on my pinky. This is the same manufacturer. So you can size these down to a three or you can size them up to a 10. And then you could change it every day if you wanted to wear it on your forefinger one day and then on your um, ring finger the next day, whatever you want to do. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I don't know, I, my, my, my drive tends to be too much. So I, I'm probably someone who shouldn't be wearing that every day. But if you struggle with drive issues, then you need sex rings. <laughs> Danielle procrastinate much but all of us procrastinate you only procrastinate when you're doing stuff you don't want to do I mean let's be honest if you're procrastinating it's because you don't want to do that thing and so you either have to figure out a way to get passionate and excited about that thing that you're procrastinating on or you need to find somebody else to do it it's better to get passionate because a lot of times in life there's just shit you got to do and I mean not a lot of people lining up to do it for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So figure that out. 
I'm glad that you like the adjustables. I do too. And our, all of our new designs, not the not the the custom ring I showed you. That one's not adjustable. But 99% of what we're doing right now is adjustable because I like it too. And I wear our rings. All the rings on my fingers are either stuff that's we've sold or sold or that we're is being designed right now. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. I love this one too. So I'm a fan of what they call line bracelets. This was the first Iolite line bracelet I've ever seen. And it's adjustable. It goes from a size six and a half to about an eight inch. So that's a good sort of general, um, I think I've got it Robin, but I'm glad you're on standby. <laughs> I'm stubborn, so I'm gonna sit here and do the thing until I do it. Okay, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, eyelight uh, bracelets. I have three dozen of these. Let me teach you about eyelight really quick before I show you. So I've, I've never seen one. Like I said, if, if they exist out there, I just, I haven't seen it. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 stones, which is a master number. How awesome is that? So Iolite is also known as water sapphire. A lot of people think it's sapphire and there are people who will think that it is sapphire on your wrist because good Iolites like this look like the best quality Ceylon sapphires. And you know, your secret's safe with me if you don't want them to know. It is open on the back, which is exactly what you want because you want the energy of the stones to touch your wrist. Isn't that cool? So Iolite is the stone that the Vikings used to help guide their voyages. They used it for direction, they used it for inspiration. It is a very powerful third eye stone. So it makes sense to me that this is what the Vikings would have used. So if you have Celtic Viking ancestry, this may appeal to you more than most. It's all done in sterling silver with toggle clasp. Um, the original price on this was $199. Our price tonight is $149. And I have three dozen. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? I think it's stunning. I think it's really cool that there's 11. I didn't count them until now. I like to know how many stones there are in my bracelets because usually there's some sort of meaning there. Um, so there's 11 for you. 11 is a number of manifestation too. Isn't it beautiful? I know. And again, like I said, think about gifts because somebody in your life probably needs this or would really really love it and when it comes holiday time this isn't something that we will have back before the holidays sometimes we do get things back and i will always tell you if i think we're going to get something back but this one is not slated to come back before the holidays Isn't that pretty you can kind of see it i mean i wear a line bracelet all the time this is a line bracelet too and i just you don't have to have to take this off it's sterling you know what i mean you can polish it a little bit sterling never tarnishes on me i never have to polish do you ever have to polish your sterling not very often. Yeah, I mean, unless you're really in some chemicals and mm -hmm. stuff, your your most of your silver is gonna gonna stay with you. And is it really Tasha's life path number is eleven? It's really cool to have a master number as a life path number. You're pretty blessed. Not a lot of people have that. Is it Amanda's birthday today? Or soon? Oh, happy early birthday to you, Amanda. I think that's a fantastic birthday gift. And so when it comes, you know, it's really important to meditate on your birthday. Did you know that? It's the most important day of the year to meditate. And you have to meditate and focus on exactly what you want to experience in the year ahead. Because you, there's a powerful co-creation energy on your birthday that like really doesn't exist for the rest of the year. And so we'll try to get this bracelet out to you as quickly as possible and send you lots of love and birthday blessings with it too. Uh, Debbie, do you turn it black in 24 hours? <laughs> What's going on, on with your skin? What kind of interesting chemicals do you have in your blood? Yeah, it doesn't tarnish on me either, Clancy. I think it just depends. Different people, different energy, different you know pH balance and so forth. Okay. Do you do the oh, let's do the baskets. You ready for surprise bags? Cue siren. <laughs> Seriously, like whenever we do something like big, it's like, here they come. Okay. These are, there's kind of a dual theme, <laughs> you know. You can't bid yet. Let me tell you what a surprise bag is. It's in a basket, but it comes to you in, in, your, in a package. So surprise bags are um, a chance for you to get almost double what you pay for. So these are $100 a piece, and you're guaranteed to get three perfumes, two candles, two larger gemstone specimens, a gemstone set. This one even has like a little obsidian skull. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then you get a smudge bundle and you get flash tattoos. So its estimated value is around 150 to $200. This one is, is definitely a $200 basket. Um, and the theme is shadow and protection. Protection as you do your shadow work is what I would say is the theme. Like this one has the protection candle with um, Archangel Michael. It has armor perfume, shield perfume, Arcs perfume, which is still my favorite. Um, it has beautiful uh, titanium quartz druzy sphere. It has a black sage, a mugwort bundle. Um, and in the gemstone set, there's, holy shit. <laughs> Kyanite, anyone? Huge kyanite blade, black tourmaline, like I said, obsidian skull. This one has a sulfur uh, quartz generator, guardian candle, flash tattoos with all the protection symbols. Woo! That's a good one. Well done, Team SG, with our surprise bags. <clears throat> I used to do that too, Clancy said. I used to spend all my lunch money on Hello Kitty grab bags. I will tell you, though, I was always disappointed with my Hello Kitty grab bags. So we work really hard to make sure that you are not disappointed when you get your SG stuff. I would open my bag, like I would save up my two bucks or whatever, and I would get my little surprise bag, and it was like... <laughs> my favorite protection perfume is Arcs. Arcs perfume. It's old school. It's like one of the original ones that I did, um, and it's in the it's in the grab bag. Um, there's a set coming to the shop called Pan Protection. Don't miss that. What day is Pan Protection? I don't know. Let me look. Where it's the coming up you? soon. So Pan Protection, which is a concept that I teach my students about universal energetic protection, so you don't have to constantly ask for protection. You just establish it. Um, is the perfume is a blend of shield, arcs, and armor. So I took all of my, my top three favorite protection perfumes and put them in one, and then I poured the candle with it too. Do you want to see the candle really quick? It's so rad. And I, we actually made pan protection soap too. Can you grab that for me, Robin, so I can show them? Ugh, wait till you smell this. And, and look at the art that Amanda and Gabriel did for this. <laughs> isn't that rad? This is like the ultimate. This isn't available yet. This is just the prototype. Isn't that cool? And then this is the pan protection soap with activated charcoal. I know. So anyway, there's not a lot of those because we pour them here at SG. So when, when you see it, if you want that, it's got a quartz point inside of it and black tourmaline inside of it. I know. That protection candle will last you forever. <laughs> you shouldn't even need another one for a very long time. So anyway, thank you for letting me show them that. Okay. Any time. How about the, um, do you want to do the card decks and the mat? We sure can. Okay. Wait, how many of these do we have? Do you know? There's just the two. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is my New Moon Oracle deck that um, just got published. Can you send me over a de uh, one of the decks, too? It's called um, called the New Moon Intention Oracle Cards. And so it's a deck, cards that you pull to help, you know, channel the, wis the universe's wisdom about what your New Moon Intention should be. And so I wrote the deck, Gabriel did the art, so that's, you're going to get the deck, and then you're going to get, this is why there's only two, because you're also going to get the mat, so that you can do a Lunar Oracle Card Layout. Isn't that cool? So it's made of faux leather here at SG. It's all custom printed. It feels like real leather, but it's faux. Isn't that gorgeous? So I have two of these. They're $39. We really just did this for fun because we thought you guys would enjoy it, and we like to be creative around here. But it takes hours for us to, to make and print these, so that's why I only have two. <laughs> so good luck to the, to the two of you who got them. Honestly, I will tell you, like... I would be half tempted to hang this on my wall. I think it's rad art. Like I would just put two push pins through this and hang it on my wall. Um, you could wrap it around a dowel, you know, and sort of make like a, I don't know. I'm just, I'm telling you what I would do with it, but I also can see that it would be really fun to do a layout on it. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I know. I wish I had more, but in a way it's special that I don't. Nothing, nothing here gets mass produced, so you know, somebody asked me today, don't you want to start outsourcing and producing things out of the country? You could make more of them. And I was like, no, <laughs> I don't. I really, is that bad? I really don't. Like, I guess I think if it came, it was mass produced, like, I don't know, I wouldn't want it. <laughs> 
Maybe that makes me not a good business person. I don't know, but anyway. Okay, now I have a Sujolite ring for you. This is the one I've had on my pinky. Sujolite is the master healer of the central nervous system. It's open on the back. I cherry picked this one. I loved, so here's what's really cool about this. You ready? It's the purple is sujolite, the black is manganese. And that's actually how they discovered sujolite. Um, it was a Japanese ge geologist who was actually, they were looking for manganese. And because sujolite is an ore of manganese, they went into a manganese mine in South Africa and saw the purple. Um, and so it's kind of a fun mystical story of how it got how it got created. So like I said, my pinky is a size three and that's what I'm wearing right now, but you can take this up to a size 10. Um, and the price of this one is $69 for a beautiful Marquise Sujolite ring. I'll show it to you on a different finger too so you can see it. It does remind me of a cat eye a little bit. I'll open it up and put it on my ring finger for you. Ooh, it's sexy on the ring finger. I think I like that better. Isn't that pretty? I only have one. Sorry. They had other ones, but not Marquise like that. Not, not small like that. Isn't that cute? sweet little ring. Sujolite's powerful. In other countries where they can make medical claims <laughs> that are outrageous with impunity, because here we have to be more careful, but in certain countries they really do believe that uh, Sujolite cures cancer. They really do believe it. And as soon as people started saying that, I'm not saying it, but you'll find that online, and as soon as people started saying that, um, the price of Sujolite went through the roof because then people were willing to pay whatever for it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not saying that, but I definitely have clients who, who hoard it <laughs> and swear by it uh, for that purpose. So anyway, enjoy that one. Sujolite's really special. Did Lorna get it? Yes. Lorna! Congratulations, Lorna. Happy for you. I love Sujolite. And I'm hoping to get more Sujolite stuff in before the holidays, so stay tuned. We're working on it. Okay. Do you want to do some more winners? Let's do winners. For the Rotocrossite Owls. Let's do the Owls, yeah. We have Scarlet P and Roxanne B. Mm. Scarlet P and Roxanne B, congrats girls. Danny Girl and Melissa M. Danny Girl and Melissa M. Wendy J and Trish B. Wendy J and Trish B. Jennifer M and Aria L. Jennifer M and Aria L. And those are the eight. Little cutie pie is going home today. So happy for you guys. And then we have the Rose Quartz. Ah, we burners. have that. Yeah, let's do that, too. All That's right. fine. It's back with you, I think. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, okay. So we have Pam B. and Danny Girl. Pam B. and Danny Girl for the Rose Chorus and Sense Burners with Divine Grace. Congrats, you guys. Donna J. and China B. Donna J. and China B. Lori B. and Jean K. Lori B. and Jean K. Congratulations. Erica M. and Martin, Martin Serena. Erica M. and Martin Serena. Renee H. and Amy Lynn H. Renee H. and Amy Lynn H. Congrats, you guys. Teresa J. and Joy Lynn K. Teresa J. and Joy Lynn K. <laughs> Kimberly O. and Emily F. Kimberly O. and Emily F. Congratulations. Ghost Nikki and Qbert. Ghost Nikki and Qbert. Laurel T. and Mel K. Laurel, Laurel T. Laurel T. Laurel T. and Mel K. Joanna B. and Kari L. Joanna B. and Kari L. Suzanne R. and Kayla P. Suzanne R. and Kayla P. Congratulations, you guys. Kathleen T. <laughs> and Lorna S. Kathleen T. and Lorna S. Aria L. and Ronnie B. Aria L. and Ronnie B. <laughs> Amy Lynn's like, I'm, I won, but I'm not sure what. I won it all. <laughs> um... Uh, thanks, you guys. I'm so glad that you like it. Somebody was asking about my nail polish. Um, this is really super easy to do. Uh, you put gold nail polish on, and then you take black nail polish with a little sponge, and you dip it on just the tip. It's super easy. It looks fancy, but it's really easy to do. I call them sun and moon nails. Little tip for you, a little Pinterest tip. Yes, okay, so we do have Sujolite necklaces, and they're they, these are holy shit necklaces. Oh, there's only one. Sorry. Sorry. Um, it looks like this. I guess I could wear it on my head, too. I'm a little notorious for putting it on my head. <laughs> um, this is a beautiful necklace. Uh, it is adjustable, obviously, because it's just, it's like a goddess cuff. It just opens that way. I've got it very loosely on. You can tighten it around your neck, or you can wear it on your head. <laughs> 
I just didn't pull it too tight, but that's what it would look like. It just looks, you know, I wanted to, I don't want to bend it. I want you to bend it when you get it. That doesn't look great, does it? No, not really. It looks like a flying saucer on my head. It needs to look like that. <laughs> it does have kind of Egyptian energy. Isn't it beautiful? It's a huge piece of Sujalite. Um, so the retail price of this one is $4.99. Our price tonight is $3.99. You're not going to find a big Sujalite necklace like that for less anywhere. I, I, I find Sujalite all the time. And I actually, I've never seen a cuff necklace like that before. And it is fully adjustable. You can bend it shorter. You can open it wider. So when you get it, you can sort of mold it to your neck, and it lays perfectly. Isn't it gorgeous? Good luck. <laughs> it's really special. I mean, I think almost anybody, you know, can really wear this because it's, it's you, can, you can fold this completely, like mold it to your neck. And Sujalite, that purple color looks gorgeous on every skin tone. I've got purple hair, so it probably looks a little more exotic, but, you know, anybody can pull Sujalite off. I'm excited for whoever gets that. And congratulations in advance. So beautiful. Okay. Um, do you want to do the charity? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, this is a beautiful piece. <laughs> this one, I may have to try it. This could be fun. You gotta have fun a little bit. I mean, otherwise it gets too serious. I can tell you they for sure don't do this on QVC. That's why it's super boring. <laughs> That's why I don't work at QVC. I kind of wanted to at a certain point. I thought it would have been a good QVC host because I really like to talk to people. Wouldn't it be fun if you could call in? What a shit show, though. We wouldn't get anything done. Can you imagine if we could talk on the phone right now? Oh, my God. I'd get fired, probably. <laughs> I'm putting earrings in. I'm putting necklaces on my head. <laughs> Wait, it's all messed up. Which side needs to... That side's high. This side's low. Okay, so this night side needs to go up. Okay. <laughs> Did I fix it? Looks good. Okay. Robin says it looks okay. <laughs> honestly i probably would get fired like right on the air <laughs> they probably would just like pull me off like the gong show okay this is i love this necklace though so this is smoky quartz amethyst and citrine isn't there crazy light too or is it just the three it looks like crazy light okay. as well smoky quartz green amethyst purple amethyst green amethyst is crazy light mm -hmm. and then um citrine so it's protection, healing, and prosperity. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, so this is, uh, I don't know the length of this. It says seven inches, but it's, this is a necklace. It's got to be, thats I don't think our numbers are right on that. Um, but it's adjustable. So I think it goes from 17 to 20 inches. That's my guess. I've got a big head, and it's, it, we're, I'm doing all right. I messed it up again, Robin. <laughs> that sets a little low. Okay, so this needs to go up. It's weird. Okay. Um, this is, are you ready? So this is $350. And these are all cut faceted pieces of these gorgeous gemstones. I'm going to bring my head right up close to you. It's really awkward, but like, you know, you need to see the necklace. Um, and whoever gets this necklace, isn't it cute? You could totally pull it off as a headband. I think you should do it. It's kind of cute, right? Um, whoever gets this one, the total amount of your purchase, $350, is going to the charity of your choice today. Cindy Nolan. Cindy Nolan. This isn't Cindy Nolan's first rodeo. I'm super excited to see what charity you choose. And we make that donation in your name. So if you're new, we don't, we don't make it in our name and we don't take it as a tax write-off. This is a genuine gift that we give. And we believe that by donating to charity while we do these things that we put good energy back out into the world and how fun to send i believe that we send the energies of whatever the item is to that charity so we're sending them protection prosperity and healing today whatever charity you choose and if you ever want to know where else we've donated you can go to sagegoddess.com and under our about us there's the giving back page and it actually lists all the charities that we've supported over the years so congratulations cindy I'm going to leave this on my head because I worked hard to get it where it needs to be, and now I don't want to take it. <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want to go through that again. We're thrilled for you, though. Okay. Do I do the quantum quattro skulls? Let's do quantum quattro skulls. Okay. We still have a little bit to get to. Hang tight.
Okay. These are insane. I will tell you there's only four. Three. Three. Sorry. <clears throat> um, I screamed when I saw these in Denver, and I don't care who saw me. Um, because, let me tell you the story. So they are 6.5 inches. These are... <clears throat> now, let me back up the truck for a second. Originally, the Quantum Quattro configuration, which is sort of a... It's a name used in the trade to describe these four minerals. And, and you'll see two different iterations of the Quantum Quattro. Originally, it was only found in Namibia. So there's a brand new find of the Quantum Quattro in Peru, and that's what this is. I want to I want to remind everybody when they think um, I was I was in Denver and I was listening to a woman talk to her friend and she was talking about Super 7 and she was saying how much it annoys her when people who own metaphysical shops say that they have Super 7 because nobody has Super 7 because there was only ever one pocket of Super 7 and it sold out decades ago and we're never going to see it again and I'm not judging but I'm just saying they actually have found Super 7 and and I have some they, they just found a new pocket in Brazil, and they've tested it. Like, it has the exact seven minerals, and you can see all seven in the pieces. And I got them in Denver, and you'll be seeing them soon. Um, I actually went live and showed them to you, so if you're following me in Denver. So never say never. Mother Nature's very tricky, and she likes to prove us wrong. <laughs> so when my friend who owns this mine called me a year ago and said, from Peru, and said, Athena, you're never going to believe it. I found the Quantum Quattro. Um, he did not tell me he was carving skulls. So I get to Denver and he's like, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> and I bought them all, um, which really annoyed a couple people because they saw them and they wanted them. And I'm like, nope, step away from my skulls, everyone, because he didn't have a lot of them. Um, these are, so the Quantum Quattro, let me just tell you really quick, is um, four of any of these minerals, Shatakite, Chrysocolla, Dioptase, Smoky Quartz, Malachite, and Cuprite. What I can see clearly with my own eyes in these is cuprite, malachite, um, chrysocolla, smoky quartz, um, and shatakite. So I see five, so technically it's the quantum five. I don't see dioptase is the only thing. But you know, I mean, there are, there are pockets where you can make a case that it's dioptase. I think it's malachite. Um, anyway, it's at least quantum quattro, and it might be quattro, qu quantum cinco, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. So here they are, there's only three. They're all the same weight. And what's really cool about these is he polished the front, but he left the back natural. And the healing energy on these, my friends, is insane. These don't exist anywhere else in the world. He didn't carve any other pieces. They are absolutely magnificent. If you are doing healing work, ancestral lineage healing stuff, made in Peru, um, I wouldn't hesitate on this. So the, let's see, I don't have a comparison price cause, or a retail price because these don't exist anywhere else. These are 600 a piece. I have three. And honestly, I think they should be closer to $1,000. They don't exist. But, so it's a really good price. <laughs> cuprite, so here's what I want to tell you about um, Shatakite, Malachite, Cuprite, and Chrysocolla, okay? Um, those are all copper bearing minerals. That's why they're all in that green blue family, okay? They're copper bearing. And the reason why they're such profound healers and why the quantum quattro is so powerful, especially when you add smoky quartz, which is sort of like an intensifier and a magnifier of those energies and frequencies, um, copper is highly conductive of energy. And so what this does is shift and move energy in your body. Disease, illness, sickness, sadness, depression, anxiety is all a result of blocked energy. And so if you have blocked energy in your body, you're going to end up having pain and disease, which is why in my work, we try to move energy through so it doesn't get stuck, so you don't get sick. Um, blocked energy also causes wrinkles on your skin. It, it's bad for your skin. It's, it's bad for everything. You've got to keep energy moving. So I'm really glad you asked because cuprite, malachite, shatakite, chrysocolla, these copper-bearing minerals um, are all really profound stones for moving and shifting energy in the frequencies in the body, and it really helps to open the central channel, aligns and balances the chakras, and ultimately the result for you is better health, more vibrant energy, and, and feeling better all the way around. Is that helpful? <laughs> well, you know... Acne is a form of blocked energy. Let me give these back to you, Robin. Thank you. Um, but the quartz 
Pockets in these are absolutely translucent. I mean, wait till you see, you're gonna get lost in yours. I'm keeping one, but mine is smaller, the one I'm, I'm keeping and setting aside. So you guys are gonna have a bigger one than I have, which is okay. I found mine, he spoke to me and he wasn't the biggest one, and but he did talk to me and we had spheres with Quattro today and they all sold out. I know, but we have a surprise for you at the end, right? Okay. We have a little surprise for you at the end. Remind me to tell them, you guys, in case I forget. Okay. Um, yes, let's show them this. So let me show you this. Um, I had like four of these last year and they all sold out. <laughs> I have this under my healing table at home. I have one and mine is about the same size. I feel like I'm holding a child. Um, where is this one for me, Robin? That one is the Bit Jumbo Faceted Almondine Garnet. Oh, there right? it is. Okay. Oh, we have two. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is an Almondine Garnet. <laughs> Bowling ball. Um, Almondine Garnet is the most gentle, profound, powerful, grounding, stabilizing stone you can work with. It's so good for anxiety. It's so good for depression. It's really good for, but it's particularly good for anxiety. It's good for PTSD. It's good for sleep. Um, so, and I have a smaller piece, much smaller, that I put under my kids' beds. And they haven't had as much sleep disturbance since. I actually made a sleep grid under their bed and I put the almondine garnet there. So, but this one you should probably keep for your own, for your own purpose. This is a big mama size. It is really heavy. I can't really hold it for very long. And I'm, I'm relatively strong. Um, these are six to seven inches. I have two of them. They are $900 each. Here's what you need to know. These are, to my knowledge, and I'm talking about the person who owns the mine, the largest faceted almondine garnets in the world. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, he owns the mine where they yield the largest garnets. And so these were the only two that he had. I thought he only had one, but maybe Dave found a second one. And then I don't have any more of this. So I have one, two of you will have one. There's four people from last year. I've only ever had like seven or eight of these ever in my possession. So they're really, truly special. If you're a collector and you don't have one of these, now may be the time, especially going into shadow season. You're gonna need grounding. And this is a really friendly, easy way to do it. You do, Liz Dan, that's really good. Have it in bed, you know what I mean? Or not, maybe not in bed, <laughs> but like near the bed. It's miraculous. And all you have to do is touch it. It's like, you know. Oh yeah, and we ship it to you for free. And it weighs 9,000 pounds. Uh, I think we have smaller almondines. Not that. <laughs> Not that, I know. That's a piece and a half, y'all. Okay, so good luck to those of you who are getting those. Those are very special, really beautiful. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this is another one of a kind piece that I picked because the energy was really good. Um, it's a lipidolite pendant. Lipidolite is lithium, like you're taking a pill. Um, and so what I loved about this is it's big and it's all open on the back. So if you have really bad anxiety, that's just going to be loving on you all day long. Put that right near your boobs. Um, this is $50. And it's been in my boobs. At no extra charge. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So if you, if you do, if you struggle with anxiety, if you struggle with depression, if you have been feeling really, really stressed, this would be a good one for you. It's all in sterling silver. It's got a nice big bale. So you can put that on anything. You can put that over beads. You can, it is, it's medicine for sure. And what's nice about, you know, using lipidolite or wearing lipidolite, you can't OD on it, right? So it is lithium. In the natural form, you can sit and rub it and the myconized lithium actually like sort of, um, sort of shreds off on your fingertips and crosses the transdermal barrier and you really do get a little little charge from it. Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm so stoked you guys like it. That's what I'm saying. It's I, On the one hand, I don't like to bring you onesie twosie because it doesn't seem fair. There's not enough for more than one person. But on the other hand, like I picked that with love and one of you is going to get it. Um, I, I have two other kind of special um, one-of-a-kinds. Let me show you the Vivianite necklace really quick. So um, Vivianite this 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 pendant is absolutely unreal. 
This and this are what's known as vivianite. This is blue kyanite, and this is green amethyst. And this is a little cut faceted. Um, uh, is that tanzanite? It sure is. No, it's iolite. Is that iolite or tanzanite? <laughs> That's iolite, right? That's iolite. Yeah. Okay, so then iolite. Um, this is really special, you guys. This stone known as vivianite is called the self-healing stone because when you cut it, it changes color. It's the most beautiful blue-green you've ever seen, and it's super-duper rare. So you have two huge cabs of vivianite for self-healing, iolite for clarity and direction, praiseolite, green amethyst for physical healing, and then blue kyanite for balance. If your body systems are out of whack and you need to figure out how to heal, right? This is this is the pendant for you, and it's all open on the back. Isn't that gorgeous? This one is um, two twenty-five. I don't even have like a, a retail value. Probably way more than that, because you'll find just a single Vivianite cab necklace online for a hundred dollars, without the double Vivianite, Iolite, Kyanite, and Praseolite. Isn't that gorgeous? So two twenty-five for the biggest, most beautiful Vivianite necklace I've ever seen. I'm glad you guys like it. I wish I had more of that too. Isn't it beautiful? And you can see on the back, the. I hope you can see the spectrum of colors. Isn't it beautiful? Good luck, you guys. Balance and healing That's what it's all about. And then, um, actually, let me put the Chris Cola heart, I think, next, because we have one more copper bearing beauty for you. This one is the biggest critical heart I've seen. And I, I ran to the table when I saw this in Denver and they only had one. Um, again, chrysocolla is copper bearing, so it conducts energy, but it's also divine feminine healing. One of the most powerful divine feminine stones there is. Dave came in earlier and he was like, I want that. <laughs> um, and it's only $300, which is an incredible price. I mean, look how thick that heart is. Isn't that gorgeous? It really truly is the biggest and most beautiful chrysocolla heart I've ever seen. And somebody's getting a whopping deal because I, I would have expected to charge between probably six and 800 for that. Isn't that incredible? So we just pass on the savings to you. I know, I wish I had more. When I asked if he had more, he looked at me like I had three heads. <laughs> it's hard to get like big rough chrysocolla, you know what I mean? So like it, there's a lot of waste and loss when you carve a piece like that. So those are pretty amazing. Okay. Um let's see where should we go next? Can I do a couple winners? Um we're almost at time, so why don't okay. we do a couple more items and then we can spend a few minutes doing winners and anybody who wants to go can go. The Morganite rings might be kind of fun to do, Robin. Those would be fun. Let's do that. I have adjustable Morganite rings. Not as many as I wish I had. Um, so Morganite is pink aquamarine. And then we'll get to the emeralds next and then the Vogels after that. Okay, that'll be our order. That sound good? Okay. So if you're waiting for Vogels, they're coming. Um, if you're waiting for emerald, it's coming. And then everything else that we didn't get to, we will save for next time. Okay, so Morganite is the queen of the love stones. It's the stone of sovereignty and love, and it reminds you that you are a queen, and you deserve to be treated in a beautiful way. And so these are adjustable this way, comes out to the right. And you could stack them, like you could do two, or you could stack them with another ring, which would be kind of fun too. Some people like to stack and have multiples. But I think this is, not like I would wear this as a pinky ring even. Let me show you what that would look like. No, I don't like to bend your rings, but it would look like that. Isn't that pretty? Sweet, delicate, but a constant reminder of how worthy you are in love. And it's rare to find Morganite rings. So the retail value on this is $59. Our price is $47. And I have 19 of them. Aren't they pretty? And they're open on the back. You see through there? So the energy of that's coming through to you. Isn't it pretty? Pink aquamarine, little love stone, little love ring on whatever finger you choose to wear it. I actually like it on my pinky. You can see it that way. 
Isn't it fun being able to like switch your rings on your on your fingers? I have like ADHD, so I don't like to do the same thing every day. <laughs> so for me, it's a lot of fun to get to play and do different things. I'm glad you guys are excited about that, especially because you can do all kinds of different things with it. So, and it'd be a good gift too if you have a friend, you know, girlfriend who's coming out of a breakup or you know needs to feel worthy and beautiful and special again. Like that would be a good gift for somebody too. So we'll come back and let you know who got those they're beautiful you'll love it um and then the yes the emerald necklaces please keep that one on okay these are um ethiopian emeralds brand new to denver they had never been even mined before aren't they beautiful so this is a new find of emerald from ethiopia so african emeralds and some of them are tear shaped, isn't that beautiful? Some of them are oval shaped. They're all the same gram weight. They're all done in sterling. They're open on the back. I have 50 of these. So the original price on these is $139. They're emeralds. Um, our price is 79. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love, if you notice my jewelry, I tend to wear pieces this size because it's, you know, I don't, I don't take my necklaces off. So I prefer pieces this size. It's, it's wearable every day. If it's too big and too heavy, then it's not something I can wear every day. So what's emerald medicine all about? Emerald is the stone of loyalty and integrity. And emerald is a stone of prosperity. It's known to attract wealth. Um, in ancient times, it was very, very sacred to Cleopatra again. It's said that she had her likeness carved on an emerald. Um, and so, but you know, in ancient times, emerald was as rare as it is today and just as prized. And some of the most beautiful emerald comes from Colombia. What's really interesting about this is um, because most emerald that we work with today comes from India. Indian emerald is not this. This looks like Colombian emerald. It's translucent, it's a lighter green. Indian emeralds are darker and they're, they're opaque and they don't have the kind of translucency that these do. So I think you're gonna be really pleased. The quality is absolutely stunning. What you may not know is that morganite and emerald are related. Emerald is green barrel and morganite is pink barrel. Isn't that fun? And yellow barrel is heliodor and blue barrel is aquamarine. So the barrel family actually has a range of colors, but you're looking at two of them today. It's kind of fun to show you that and teach you that. Isn't that fun? I'm gonna quiz you after this, you better know. They're from Ethiopia. These are Ethiopian green emeralds. Aren't they beautiful? First time in Denver. First time they had ever mined these, cut these, um, um, set these, and so we jumped on that. Because I like new things. And I had never worked with an African emerald. I've worked with Colombian emeralds. I've worked with Indian emeralds but they're super, super pretty. So then I have one more thing to show you and then we'll do winners. But congratulations because I think it's beautiful. And this is a piece I could see you wearing every day. Especially if you're trying to attract prosperity, if you're trying to heal your heart, and if you're trying to use discernment. This will show you who to trust and who not to trust. That's one of the qualities of emerald that it represents. Okay, um, let me work on this. And then Robin, would you pull the blinds down just a little bit? It's gonna get hard for them to see me in about five minutes. The light's pretty, but it'll, be, it'll get tricky in here in a second. Okay, then the surprise. Vogels, then the surprise. First things first. But I love that you guys keep me on track and remind me. I really do appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Vogels are tools that we use to extract energy, to remove energy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and the original design, they're called Vogels because they were designed by Marcel Vogel um, to have a certain number of facets on the sides and those facets reflect, reflect and refract the light. And so you can only do extraction with a Vogel. There are these new crystals coming out of the Himalayas and I've, I'm having them made for SG called extract, extraction needles. That's a story for another time. But in the meantime, this is the only extraction tool that we have <laughs> while we work on that. Um, we had these custom made and as I said earlier in the preview, we could have done any colors. But the reason I did this is most people have blockages at the heart chakra, the solar plexus chakra, and the sacral chakra. They've either had their heart broken, their power taken away, or they've been stripped of their passion, creativity, or desire. And so most empaths are not blocked at their throat, their third eye, or their crown. And most people 
figure out their, their root challenge, their root chakra blockages and challenges and, and work through those. But it's really hard to heal the heart, the solar plexus, and the sacral. So that's what this does, okay? Um, so these were made for us. You're not going to find these anywhere else in the world. They don't exist, which is really, really cool. And this is the last call for them. So I have, so they are three and a half inches. Um, we don't even know what to tell you what these would cost somewhere else because they don't exist. But they are $59. For a wand that will remove blockages in the most blocked chakras for empaths. Isn't that cool? And so let me show you how you use vocals really quick while you're saying yes to it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is you want to open what we call a portal. Because when you remove energy, you want to send it somewhere. You don't want to just remove negative energy or disease and then just have it sitting in the room. So with your right hand clockwise, you open what we call a portal. Um, and you set the intention that you're, you're sort of opening, it's like a wrinkle in time. You're, you're moving between dimensions and you're creating kind of a trash can for energy to go into, but not to stay in the room and not to stay with you. That's how healers make sure they don't take on other people's stuff. So you open a clockwise circle, set the intention that this is a portal to receive this energy. You can ask a spirit guide or a guardian to come and guard the portal for you. The biggest thing is you have to remember to close it, okay? And then what you do is you, you examine the chakras, either for yourself or the person that you're working on. And let's say I have a solar plexus blockage. So what you do is you move the vocal in with the wide side in, and then you send the energy down. And it's, it's an infinity symbol. And you set the intention that any blockage in that chakra will be released, and you send the blocked energy down into the portal that way. And it becomes a meditation. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it does remind me of an Astro Pop, but no calories. <laughs> and then once you feel like the energy is released, then going counterclockwise, you seal the portal. And what that does is allow Gaia Pachamama to take that energy and hold it for you away from you so it's no longer block blocking your energy system. I wish I could show you what the human energy field looks like because then you would see what this there it, this actually has has a an appearance as energy is leaving you can actually see energy leaving the body you can see how a portal holds and captures that energy so that's a quick guide to portals and energetic extraction courtesy of me today <laughs> um, and so as soon as you get this so again this is gonna hit work from here to here you can remove energy blockages at the heart the solar plexus or the sacral with this wand and that's the energy and the intention and of course the color um, because color matters color has its own frequency so congratulations you guys um, we'll let you know the winners I will tell you we have 50 of these in the room and then the remaining quantity of these is over at sagegoddess.com and team SG will put the link in the feed right now for you so that if you do not get one of the 50 that we have available in the room right now you can go to the website where there's, I think, the same amount more on the website, but then they're gone for good. We're not recreating this one. So if you want one of these, like, this is last chance, Q Siren, <laughs> okay? Now, here's what you need to know. Before you go to the website, don't go to the website yet. Um, anything you buy tonight or on the website that's $100 or more, you can separate into four flex pays over six weeks at no interest to you. Okay, and you can do that with any purchase. It's called Quad Pay. It's a new feature on our website. Okay, if you say heal, H E A L in your notes, guess what you're getting tonight? But only tonight and only for those of you who are here. You're, we're going to send you a free piece of Quantum Quattro as our gift because we knew you guys were excited about it tonight, but I have so little of it available. It's a rare configuration. So now we have the rough from Peru. So if you say heal tonight only until midnight, you get a free Quantum Quattro. And if you didn't get a Vogel tonight through the sale, the rest of them are on the website. <laughs> uh, with any purchase. No, seriously. We're sending you a natural piece of Quantum Quattro as a gift. But you have to say HEAL in your notes. H-E-A-L. And then your code for 17% off on the website is BALANCE17. So you get 17% off with code BALANCE17. You can split your payment into four if it's over $100 at no charge to you. And then, you, if you say heal, you get a free stone. Any purchase of anything, Scout, for, for Quantum Quattro, you can buy a sticker and say heal, you're going to get Quantum Quattro. Kind of nice, right? You're going to get your invoices tomorrow because Team SG sleeps. <laughs> 
My, I can work around the clock, but they cannot. So let us. Um, so it's only on the website because it's, it's, it's a separate process in our building. So the Quantum Quattro offer with code HEAL is only on the website. Not for tonight. But you guys, if you bought stuff tonight, saved like between 30 and 50% on the things that you bought. So that's your free gift. But you can separate your spec sale, your gem sale purchases into four payments with quad pay. When you get your invoice, you can do that and it gives you six weeks to pay the four payments. So it kind of lets you spread it out, which I appreciate. I wish the people I shopped with had quad pay, but they don't. Although sometimes I shop on like QVC and then I'll do like a flex pay, which is nice. That's kind of cool, right? So any purchase over $100 qualifies for quad pay forever and ever and ever. Amen. Yep. It'll be good for holiday shopping. It'll help a lot when it comes holidays. Do you guys want to do a few winners before we wrap up? And then we're going to say goodnight to you guys. I hope you guys had fun tonight. We can do a few winners and do a giveaway. Oh, our giveaway. We forgot our giveaway. The giveaway. How come you guys didn't remind me? <laughs> <laughs> that giveaway isn't this the most beautiful unicorn you've ever seen but she's not for sale isn't it gorgeous so she's worth about $150 $200 depending on where you go and where you look isn't she beautiful I love this side this side's really pretty you'd have to decide how you're going to display it but on this side her eye is druzy you see that? She's got a little droozy eye. Look, she's looking at you. All magical. Love it so much. So if you need unicorn magic in beautiful aura droozy quartz, then this piece is for you. It does stand up on its own, but I would put a little museum putty just because I, I drop things. <laughs> so maybe you're better than I am, so you don't need it, but... Um, who needs that? Who, who, who needs a beautiful, juicy unicorn as a gift from me to you tonight? <sighs> Aw, did you? <laughs> oh, I think I know. I just got a little, that little, I get this little, like, thing up my spine when I see the name of the person who's supposed to get it. Let me go back and find you. Where are you? I'm looking for Coraluna. Is she, is she there? Coraluna. I think it's for you. But I need to make sure that I saw you. I think I saw you. Did I see you, Coraluna? <laughs> ah, she's there. <laughs> Congratulations, Coraluna. As soon as I saw your name, I got that little up my spine which means I know it's going to the right home. Not that all of you don't deserve a unicorn, because you do. Um, but tonight, this one is going right to you with a heart full of love. And I hope that you enjoy every single moment of working with this medicine. Isn't she beautiful? Congratulations to you. Thank you, Robin, for saving the day with our giveaway. Okay. Something had to happen. I know. Okay. Are there any winners you guys want to announce? I have some winners mm -hmm. for the Lipidocrosite and Quartz. Mm. Okay, let's put across Titan Quartz winners. Ready? Ghost Nikki and Bridget B. Ghost Nikki and Bridget B. Mel K and Renee H. Mel K and Renee H. Nancy M. Nancy and M. Suzanne Beams. And Suzanne Beams. Congratulations, you guys. Aw, Coraluna. You're going to make us cry. Cindy N. and Amy Lynn H. Cindy N. and Amy Lynn H. Jean K and Danny Girl. Jean K and Danny Girl. Congrats. And Louise, Louise H. And Louise H. Yay, Louise got one. Yay. Super happy for you guys. Jan's asking if there's anything left tonight. We have a couple things left. We okay. still have eight Iolite bracelets. We have eight Iolite bracelets left. This is my line bracelet on my right hand. Can you remind me of the price of the Iolite bracelets, Robin? I sure can. They were 149 149 for the 11 stone Iolite bracelet to give you direction and clarity. Isn't that beautiful? And it's good for your intuition too. Is there anything else? We that have um, 18 of the Ethiopian emerald pendants left. Oh, we have 18 um, emerald pendants left. One eight of Ethiopian emeralds. Aren't those beautiful? And the price on these was? The Ethiopian emerald pendants were 79 $79. 
for African emerald. Isn't that beautiful and sterling? Love those. So if you would like emerald pennant, those are left. And we have one Mariposa calcite large. There's one large Mariposa calcite piece left. And then that's all she wrote. <laughs> good night, Tia. We love you. Tell your boyfriend we said good night, too. He's calling her to bed. The calcite cluster is going to go to Kay Grand. Kay oh. Grand got it. Congratulations to you. It's so beautiful. You will absolutely love it. Wait till you just see all those hematite phantoms. It's like you can get lost. That's a meditation in itself. I'm stoked for you guys who got those tonight, truly. And congratulations if you're getting the Iolite bracelets and the, and the emerald pendants. I, I'm telling you, this is one that you should wear all the time. Emerald is such a powerful stone for your heart. Um, and it attracts good things to you. And I love it because it attracts integrity to you, which that's one of my core values in life is integrity and truth and honesty. And so um, it's a good stone for that. They also say that emerald keeps partners faithful, which isn't really a concern that I have. But if you're worried about your partner doing something, poor Dave, the last thing Dave needs is another woman. Can, I mean, seriously. <laughs> if he was going to do something, it would have to be with a dude. Because honestly, he's surrounded by women all day long. I'm a handful and a half. Like, what would that man even do with another woman? Seriously. <laughs> Hi, Ariella. Okay. So that is all we have. Do left. you want to do the Vogel winner so people know if they should go to the website? We'll I probably sure do that. Can. Okay, let let's me do that. Get there. So we'll let you know who the fifty are for the Vogels, and then if you didn't get one in the sale, you can go to sagegoddess.com where the rest of them are. And your code again tonight is balance seventeen, and then you have to say heal to get your free quantum quattro. All right. So for the Vogels, we have Tiffany P and Renee H. Tiffany P, Renee H. Congrats, you guys. Christine W and Bridget O. Christine W and Bridget O. K Grand and Norma F. K Grand and Norma F. Um, Thornton B and Concrete. Thornton B and Concrete. Cindy R. Ooh, just moved. <laughs> Cindy R and K LePage. Cindy R and K LePage. Don F and Jasper and Jasper T Care. Don F and Jasper T Care. Okay. <laughs> Teresa G and Guns to Lover. Teresa G and gu Guns to Lover. We're trying with your handles. So we want to say it right. S. McPicky. S. McPicky, I see you. And Lindsay L. And Lindsay L. And then I have <laughs> Wendy R. and Jessica J. Wendy R. and Jessica J. Congratulations. Rosie S. and Martin Sierra. Uh huh. Rosie S. and Martin Sierra. Jennifer M. and Danny Girl. Jennifer M. and Danny Girl. Tracy G. and Esperanza G. Tracy G. and Esperanza G. Congratulations. Michelle Q. and Miss Mango. Michelle Q. and Miss Mango. Tina G. and J. Del V. Tina G. and J. Del V. Congratulations. Mel K. and Aria L. Mel K. and Aria L. Skylar P and Tiffany P. Skylar P and Tiffany P. I'm so excited for you guys. Nancy S and my or Nancy S and Christine G. Nancy S and Christine G. Susan S and Ashley S. Su Susan S and Ashley S. Congratulations. Melissa M and Dina B. Melissa M and Dina B. Denise P and Roxanne G. Denise P and Roxanne G. Pam P and S M. Pam P and S M, Katie B and Hilda P, Katie P, Katie B and Hilda P. Yes. <laughs> Chrissy. Chrissy. And then I have Stephanie G and Allie T. Stephanie G and Allie T. Wendy J. Wendy J. Stacy K. Joylin K. Stacy K and Joylin K. And Janelle D. And Janelle D. So those are those are the ones who won the Vogels tonight. If you want a Vogel and didn't win tonight. You need to go to sagegoddess.com. TMSG will put the link up for you one more time because that's it for these vocals. So if you need to move energy in those three chakras, this is a really good tool for you. And like I said, these were custom made for us and we're not remaking them. We may do something similar down the road, but we're not going to do this exact same design or configuration. So it was just the right medicine at this time and we're glad that you guys love it. So when you head to sagegoddess.com tonight, your code is HEAL for free quantum quattro as our gift to you. And let me know how you like it. It's, it's the first healing stone I ever worked with. The first proper healing stone. And I still have my original piece at home. And it's about that big. And I treasure it. And I still work with it with clients. 
because it's got a vibration that's undeniable. That configuration is very unique and special. And to my knowledge, only in Peru and Africa. Other than that, you just don't find it. So enjoy. Congratulations. Hope you guys had a really good time tonight, by the way. We had a blast being with you. And we will look forward to seeing you soon. So your invoices are going to come to you tomorrow. You have 24 hours to pay. That's how the situation works. Um, and then your items will ship to you within the next 7 to 10 days. And we'll be back with you again two weeks from tonight for another round of not QVC. <laughs> Because like I said, I don't think that would work out for me, but I really do enjoy sharing things with you guys. We should do headbands, right? I know at some point we will. All right, you guys, congratulations to all of you. Super happy for you. Thank you to Robin. Did a fantastic job tonight. Thank you to Tori. Thank you to Hannah. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys soon. If you're in Soul Shift, we have class tomorrow. Get ready for that. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your evening. Is there anything I forgot to say? Are we all good? Yeah? I think we're good. I think All right. Good. good night. <laughs> <laughs>